Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Comprehensive Martial Arts, Starting from the Leader of the Clan. Chapter 71 Shang Wanmu comes from the Jinpeng Dynasty that was destroyed decades ago. The Jinpeng Dynasty was located in the western regions and was one of the many small countries in the western regions. It was destroyed by the Hu cavalry from the other side of the continent. The Jinpeng Dynasty was destroyed. Shang Wan Mu and several cronies of the Jinpeng Dynasty king at that time fled to the Song Dynasty with all the wealth of the Jinpeng Dynasty, waiting for the descendants of the dynasty to come and try to restore the country. Shang Wan Mu came to the Central Plains and saw the prosperity of the Song Dynasty, so that he lost his eyes. Compared to the Jinpeng Dynasty, he would rather stay in the prosperous big bed. So, just do one thing and two things without stopping. He managed to kill several other people who had been left alone, including the descendants of the Jinpeng dynasty, and monopolize the wealth of the Jinpeng dynasty. Wealth alone is not enough to be. Shang Wan Mu was considered to be in a high position back then, how could he not have power in his hands? So, I focused on Qing Yi Tower. After years of planning, Huo Shu, the boss of Xing Yi Tower, was secretly eliminated, and he used his miraculous disguise skills to occupy the magpie's nest and replace him. Huo Shu has too many secrets. In the middle of the journey, Zhang Feng fed Huo Shu a few more bottles of Chaoshan liquid. After asking for a full day and night, I finally found out the secrets of Qing Yi building in detail. Several people exclaimed, this is a werewolf. If not for meeting the Zhang family. With Huo Shu's scheming and methods, he was able to thrive in the central plains. Who are you? Huo Shu woke up and said in a hoarse voice. After waking up, he realized what he had just said. The methods of these people are terrible. Since he took charge of Sing Yi House, he has acted in a low-key manner. Those who bully the weak and fear the strong will never be offended by forces that are slightly invisible. I would rather not make money than involve myself in it. He has never offended the top forces. Huo Shu knew he had failed this time. With so many secrets in hand, there must be no way to survive. It's just that if you don't understand who the enemy is and where he went wrong, you won't be able to rest in peace. Zhang Feng was in a good mood. He had mastered a huge power and a power with huge wealth. If such an accomplished event is not shared with the victims, it will always feel like walking at night, without an audience, and I will feel uneasy. Aren't you planning to deal with the Zhang family? Zhang Feng smiled slightly. What a coincidence, the Zhang family is also interested in Qing Yi building. Impossible, absolutely impossible. Huo Shu couldn't accept it when he heard that he had fallen into the hands of the Zhang family. In order to plan the Zhang family, Qing Yi House investigated for several months. Of the strength of the people in front of me, which one is as easy to deal with as the intelligence says? He remembered clearly that the intelligence analysis and evaluation showed that the combat strength of several ancestors of the Zhang family was compared to similar business families, and there was nothing surprising about it. There's nothing surprising about me going there. The intelligence service harmed me. Huo Shu wished he could beat everyone in the intelligence department to death for three days and three nights to relieve his hatred. Can. He knows. No chance. He knows too much. The Zhang family can disguise themselves as Lin Xiao, or they can disguise themselves as him. At that time, he occupied the magpie's nest with a dove, but decades later, someone else also occupied the magpie's nest with a dove. The cycle of heavenly laws and retribution is unpleasant. Huo Shu smiled bitterly and murmured, I miss you, Huo Shu. I have been cautious all my life, but I still didn't escape this disaster. He really couldn't figure it out. A family with a relatively short heritage has such a profound foundation. It's still hidden so deeply. He was cautious enough himself. Now it seems that the rivers and lakes are too deep, and there are people outside, so he is still too simple. It seems that Sing Yi building has developed into what it is in just a few decades. In fact, the real Huo Shu had a scale of 10 moves at that time. After he replaced Huo Shu, using the wealth of the entire Jinpeng dynasty, Qing Yi Tower was developed into what it is today. Although the Jinpeng dynasty is not as good as the Song dynasty, it is still a dynasty that has existed for thousands of years. What a rich accumulation. Once she became someone else's wedding dress. Time is also destiny. Okay, I've let you know everything you need to know. For the sake of your hard work in running the Qing Yi building industry for my Zhang family for so many years, I'll give you a treat. 
Huo Shu made outstanding contributions to the Zhang family. No grudges, no grudges. Zhang Feng was very generous and gave Huo Shu a happy life with one palm, allowing him to pass away without any pain. Take off the storage ring on Huo Shu's hand. He relied on this storage ring to carry all the wealth of the Jinpeng dynasty. Huo Shu didn't trust anyone but himself. All of his net worth remains in the storage ring. The treasure house of Qingyi building contains nothing but funds for daily expenses and copied exercises. Zhang Feng entered the storage ring with his spiritual thoughts. Good guy, Huo Shu really lacks everything except the great grand master technique. Not to mention gold, silver, treasures and other common things, they are countless at once. There are countless precious medicines. There are actually eight millennium spirit medicine strains, more than the Zhang family. There are more than 30 grand master techniques and martial arts, and there are countless innate level techniques. The Zhang family is really getting fat this time. Zhang Feng collected the used medicinal materials and exercises into the storage ring, and through the storage ring to Zhang Junchen, fourth grandpa, there is still one in the exercise treasure house, I will take this one. I was thinking that the Zhang family lacked a dark force that was independent of the Zhang family, so I delivered the goods to my door. What is missing is what comes. Huo Shu is such a good man. Taking over a middle-level force that is no weaker than the Zhang family, several people are in a good mood. From today on, I will change my name to Huo Shu. Zhang Junchen laughed. Zhang Feng curled his lips, the name Shu is poisonous. This is all changed to the third person. It feels like the Zhang family is getting more and more crooked, suddenly turning into villains. No, Qingyi Tower is a villain, it has nothing to do with my Zhang family. The Zhang family is still the upright and responsible Zhang family. Xingyi Tower is a killer organization. The killer organization makes money by taking on tasks, and inevitably has to deal with other forces. The Zhang family has its own secret forces, but it doesn't have much interaction with Qingyi House. The people who deal with Qingyi Tower are not only Zhanggu, but also the court. Some court bosses need to do dirty work but don't want to take advantage of their jobs, so they secretly entrust killer organizations like Xing Yi Tower. The imperial court occupied the largest territory. Regardless of the private control of those officials in the court, their strength is far inferior to that of a family like the Zhang family. But they have public power in their hands, mastered the ability to promote a large number of officials and distribute wealth, determined the fate of many people. The big boss in the court. The official income is only a hundred tails of salary. In fact, the secret benefits are astonishing, and there are too many people who contribute. Some good things that are not available on the market may not be available in the homes of adults. Qingyi Tower has connections with these officials, which has broadened the Zhang family's access to rare resources. The Xingyi Tower killer is divided into four extremities, gold, silver, bronze, and iron. Iron level represents acquired masters, bronze level represents innate masters, silver level represents grandmaster masters, and gold level represents great grandmaster. There is no great grandmaster in Xingyi Tower. In order to reflect the heritage of Xingyi House to those big shots, Huo Shu intentionally or unintentionally caused some people to misunderstand that there was a gold medal killer in Xingyi House. By the way, it dispels some thoughts that some people should not have. What should I do if someone wants to hire a gold medal killer? Don't worry, I can't afford it at all. The iron killers are out, and they only want gold and silver. The bronze medal killer mission depends on the difficulty. If the difficulty is small, gold and silver will be paid. Difficult tasks only require heavenly materials and earthly treasures, as well as skill secrets. Silver Grandmaster takes action and only wants rare treasures. For the gold medal great grandmaster, only great grandmaster level skills or treasures of equal value will be collected. So far, Sing Yi House has not received a gold medal commission. No wonder Huo Shu has so many thousand year spirit medicine in his hands. Zhang Feng murmured. In addition to Huo Shu, the peak grandmaster, there are a total of 11 grandmasters in Qing Yi Tower. Except for the two grandmasters on the first floor, the owners from the second to the first floor are all grandmasters. Huo Shu and the two grandmasters on the first floor failed, leaving nine available grandmasters in the Qingyi building. The number is greater than that of the Zhang family. 
If it weren't for the heaven-level skills practiced by all the grandmasters of the Zhang family, their strength might not be comparable to Qingyi Tower. Not long after, Zhang Junlong put on makeup to look like Huo Shu. Fourth brother, Jinling is not as good as Suzhou, the water is too deep, everything is important, Zhang Zhenshin warned again and again. Brother, don't worry, you still don't know who I am. Zhang Junchen turned into Huo Shu, feeling comfortable all over. This is the life you want. It is more in line with his code of conduct than staying at the back of the Zhang family. He created the Dark Guard, suitable for life in the dark. Becoming the boss of Sing Yi House, there is no sense of disobedience. Fourth Grandpa, the Wang family can't stay here anymore, so let Qing Yi House take action. A cold look flashed in Zhang Feng's eyes, he solved the Qingyi building, and then came the Wang family. He is a man who never holds back any grudges. If you already have the strength and still hold it back, then what's the use of this experience? Well, it just happened to destroy the Wang family to test the strength of Qingyi Tower. Zhang Junchen nodded, in the future, all the dirty work will be done by Qingyi House. Our Zhang family does not want to do things that destroy the family and destroy the family. The impact will be bad. In the past, the Zhang family had limited resources, so cultivating power had to be done step by step, and it was inevitable to focus on one thing and lose another. There is Qing Yilo secretly helping me. Regardless of whether the Zhang family is on the bright side, it is still hidden behind the scenes. Even among the great grandmaster level forces, he is definitely not weak. Funger, the Zhang family has undergone earth-shaking changes in a short period of time in your hands, and you have contributed a lot to it. Zhang Junchen couldn't help but sigh when he looked at the number of treasures in the storage ring. Zhang Feng traveled around the world for a year and gained more than the Zhang family had accumulated in hundreds of years. Funger looks like the legendary son of fortune. Zhang Junlong laughed. Zhang Zhenshin agreed with his face. Lao San, what you said makes sense. Oh, Zhang Feng looked surprised. Son of fortune. Zhang Feng has followed people such as Chao Feng, Duan Yu, Zhang Wuji and others. Their strength does grow faster than ordinary people, and they are more powerful at the same level. But it is still far from the legendary son of fortune. Zhang Zhenshin's eyes were distant. There is indeed a legend of son of fortune in this world. Your great-grandfather once mentioned it, but there is no way to verify it, and it is difficult to tell whether it is true or not, so everyone just listens to it as a story. Grandpa, please elaborate. Zhang Feng's eyes narrowed. He knows best the benefits of Son of Fortune. Jumping off a cliff to get the skill, you will definitely die and someone will save you. The beauty takes the initiative to throw herself in, and I can enter the forbidden areas. Apart from being easily slapped in the face and making people feel uncomfortable, everything else is a good thing. It is said that a long time ago, the aura of this world was much richer than it is today. In that era, geniuses and evildoers emerged in large numbers, and there were countless talents and treasures. I don't know when the spiritual energy began to gradually dissipate, until it became what it is now, as if it had hit bottom, and it has stayed at the level it is today. At that time, there were people who were born with the luck of heaven and earth, and their cultivation went smoothly, just like being fed by God. With a little practice, they could reach a level beyond the reach of ordinary people in their lifetime. Zhang Zhenshin's eyes were filled with yearning. It is said that later on, the spiritual energy of heaven and earth became thinner, and Son of Fortune never appeared again. This is the origin of Son of Fortune. Zhang Feng has a lot of imagination. Heaven and earth declined and heaven and earth lost the conditions for the birth of Son of Fortune. Is the spiritual energy about to revive? Death. Zhang Feng was startled by his own thoughts. Not impossible. According to the law of transmigrator, wherever the transmigrator goes, something will happen. In this era, dynasties are gathering together, and famous emperors such as Emperor Qin, Emperor Tang Zong, and Emperor Kangxi have appeared in an era. The original protagonists such as Chao Feng, Zhang Wuji, Lu Zhaofeng, and Li Zunwan were born one after another. It's a bit like a world of great strife. Are these people just backup son of fortune, fighting for a real luck zone? Heaven and earth are not enough to give birth to a complete son of fortune, so this is the only solution. The more he thought about it, the more Zhang Feng felt that it was very possible. How to fight, kill all other sons of fortune? Zhang Feng shook his head. 
Son of Fortune has a variety of characters, ranging from trash to truly good people. If he would get rid of everyone just because of a guess in his mind, Zhang Feng would not do it. And if the speculation is true, he didn't think that the creation of so many Sons of Fortune was just for the sake of raising Ji Yu and killing each other. The way to get luck is never just killing. Let it go. Zhang Feng put down his thoughts. He has a system in place and is destined to reach the pinnacle of this world. For him, Son of Fortune is just the icing on the cake, not a systematic one. After settling the matter in Qingyi Tower, Zhang Zhenshan and others returned to the family. Zhang Feng stayed in Qingyi building temporarily to avoid any accidents when Zhang Zhenshan took over. Soon, three days passed. The Qingyi building matter has been basically straightened out, and the communication channel with the Zhang family has been opened. When we arrived in Jinling, it would be inappropriate not to go to the governor's mansion to see my aunt. In the early morning, the road was a little foggy, and many people in Jinling city had already started their busy day. The Zhongyan governor's office was the highest administrative agency in the two states of Zhongyan during the Song dynasty. Zhongyan has always been an important tax revenue center in the Song dynasty. Those who served as the governor of Zhongyan were all close ministers of the emperor. The governor of Zhongyan is ranked in the second grade, and in terms of status, he is only lower than a few big shots in the cabinet. In terms of actual power, he is no lower than several cabinet bosses. Those who can become the governor of Zhongyan will not have a simple family background. Zhang Feng's uncle Shen Tian came from the Shen family in Shuyang. The Shen family was an official family with a history of hundreds of years. His father Shen Kuo once served as a bachelor of Longtuge, and his grandfather Shen Zhou also served as minister of Taicheng Temple. At the yamen of the governor's mansion, there is a group of soldiers wearing heavy armor holding the handle at the door. As soon as Zhang Feng approached, a group of people looked at him sharply. Everyone in this group of soldiers had a murderous aura, and they were all people who had seen blood on their hands. Please inform Mrs. Shen that the Zhang family is visiting. The guard's eyes relaxed a little. It's no secret that the governor's wife is from the Zhang family. It turns out she is from her mother's family. The head guard saw that Zhang Feng was an extraordinary and handsome young man, and he should be an important figure in the Zhang family. He did not dare to offend him, so he cupped his hands and said, Sir, please wait a moment until I go to report. This is the rule. If there is any neglect, please forgive me. No problem. A few minutes later, a beady-looking woman with a kind face walked out holding a little girl with pigtails. From a distance, with a look of surprise on his face, Feng her. Aunt, Zhang Feng stepped forward to greet her. Zhang Feng's aunt Zhang Ying treated Zhang Feng very well when she was in the Zhang family. Cousin, the little girl yelled timidly, grabbed her mother's clothes and hid behind her, but couldn't help but secretly take a look at the good-looking cousin in front of her. We haven't seen each other for a few years, Ching'er has grown so big. Zhang Feng sighed with a look on his face and took out a finely crafted and extremely beautiful dagger from his storage ring. When Ching'er reaches the age of martial arts training, I will give you this Ching'ing sword. Shen Ching'er's sparkling eyes curved into crescent moons, and she seemed to like this gorgeous dagger. Zhang Feng found this sword from Huo Shu's collection, and he took it as a gift. Thank you, cousin, Zhang Ying said, touching the little girl's head. Thank you, cousin, Shen Ching'er took the dagger with a smile and couldn't put it down. Feng'er, let's talk after we enter the house. Zhang Feng followed him into the yamen, and soldiers on both sides kept tightly surrounding him on the outside. The soldiers did not leave until a few people entered the inner courtyard. Auntie, has something happened to Jinling recently? The defense of the governor's mansion was a little too tight, and the soldiers were all alert and alert. Your uncle told you that the government should strengthen its defense recently. There was a trace of sadness on Zhang Ying's face. Recently, a batch of tax money shipped from Zhongyan Salt was intercepted on the way. Your uncle was very angry about this. He has been busy looking for tax money in the past few decades. Who dares to touch the imperial court's tax money? Who has taken the courage to do so? Zhang Feng vaguely felt that this matter was not that simple. The robbers are not fools. Before the end of the dynasty, order will be chaotic. This kind of risky thing will make you lose your life. I notified your uncle. He should be back soon. You can ask him later. 
Zhang Ying hadn't returned to her parents' home for a long time, so she asked, is everything okay at home? Shen Tian is young, has a high position, and has too many people staring at him. It's a long way back to my parents' home, and it's easy for people to take advantage of it if I'm not careful. My family is very good, and grandpa still talks about you all the time. Zhang Ying's eyes turned red. The old man blames my unfilial daughter for not going back to see her. Auntie, if you want to go back to the Zhang family, it won't be that troublesome. Whenever you want to go back, just tell me and I will come to pick you up personally. My aunt's impression of the Zhang family still existed when she got married. Not everyone is qualified to touch the current Zhang family. Talk later, Zhang Ying shook his head, and the two of them felt at odds with each other. Not long after, a seven-foot-tall, dignified-looking middle-aged man with a majestic face entered the room. Xiao Feng, I'm sorry, the Yaman is a little busy during this time. Shen Tian looked apologetic. Zhang Feng is now not only a junior, but also the head of the Zhang family. Etiquette between aristocratic families still needs to be discussed. Uncle, I'm here temporarily too. I'm a family. It's a waste of money. Zhang Feng smiled and shook his head. Okay, let us aunt and nephew have a nice drink tonight. Shen Tian laughed. He had been very busy these days. Zhang Feng's arrival made him quite happy. Ha, huh, Zhang Feng frowned, and there was a deeply hidden dark look on Shen Tian's face. If he hadn't inherited the Thousand Faces Poison Sutra and was extremely sensitive to poisons, Zhang Feng might not have noticed it. Quote dot quote, what's wrong? There's something on my face. Shen Tian touched his face with his hand. Uncle, give me your hand and I'll take your pulse. Zhang Feng's expression was serious. Shen Tian's eyes narrowed, and he stretched out his wrist thoughtfully. Xiao Feng, look at it. Zhang Ying's expression tightened. Funger, is your uncle in good health? Let me take a look first. Zhang Feng put his finger on Shen Tian's pulse, and after half a cup of tea, he said, Uncle, try your luck to reach the Tanjong point. Good. Shen Tian did not hesitate and ran Tru Chi through the Tanjong point. Suddenly, there was a sharp pain in his chest, his face turned pale, and he almost fell down. Zhang Feng had quick eyes and quick hands, so he helped him. Husband, Zhang Ying was shocked. Dad, Shen Qing'er was so frightened that her eyes burst into tears. Xiao Feng, what happened to your uncle? Zhang Ying held Zhang Feng's hand and cried. Okay, let Zhao Feng speak slowly, don't be impatient. Shen Tian knew there was something wrong with his body as soon as he got lucky. I have been busy dealing with official duties these past few days, so I didn't notice it for a while. Uncle De Zhao Zhao, you are poisoned. The faces of several people changed, and Zhang Feng added, fortunately, it was discovered early. In a few days, the toxin will invade the lungs. Even if I take action, it will be very troublesome. After Shen Tian heard that it could be solved, he was not in a hurry and said with a puzzled face, I have always been very careful about my diet. I haven't eaten out in recent times. How did the other party poison me? Poisoning does not necessarily come through diet. I will solve my uncle's problem first and then find out the cause. Zhang Feng didn't waste any time. He took out the silver needle from the storage ring and stuck it in Tanjong, Juwei, Jik, Shangchu and Shank one after another. Under his special technique, all the toxins in the body are concentrated at the Tanjong point. Zhang Feng pulled out the silver needle and pointed it at Tanjong acupoint. The internal force of primordial origin goes straight into the body, and the toxins seem to meet their nemesis. Under the impact of primordial origin true qi, they turn into streams of pure energy. Shen Tian felt a tingling sensation in her body. After half a stick of incense, Zhang Feng stopped delivering the inner calendar. Uncle, please try again. So fast. Shen Tian looked surprised and ran Tru Chi through the Tanjong point. There was no blockage anymore and the flow was smooth. A smile appeared on his face. Xiao Feng, I didn't expect you to have this skill. I'm lucky to have met you this time, otherwise I would have fallen into this poison. Shen Tian had a trace of fear on his face. Who has my uncle offended recently? Officialdom has its own rules, and people generally act within the rules. Of course, when it comes to life and death, that's another story. Shen Tian seemed to already have the answer in his mind. Did you know that a batch of tax money handed over by Zhang Yan Salt Transport was intercepted recently? 
Auntie just told me. Zhang Feng's eyes were surprised. Is it possible that the person who poisoned me is related to this matter? He had felt before that the interception of tax money was not the work of a simple green forest person. You can make money by robbing others, so why are you robbing the imperial court from such a powerful opponent? Obviously inconsistent with logic. Actually, the tax money interception should be aimed at me. Shen Tian expressed his guess. Some time ago, I was investigating the corruption of salt transportation in Zhongyan. The salt industry in Zhongyan is prosperous, but the salt tax has never been raised. As the governor of Zhongyan, I naturally know how terrible the income of the salt industry in Zhongyan is. This situation can only mean that the money has been corrupted. So, I started to investigate secretly, and in the end the matter was vaguely related to the Zhongyan Salt Transport Envoy. Table salt is a must-have for everyone. In other countries, iron is the exclusive product of Bao Wang. After all, Da Song is a joint stock company. In the end, the imperial court and the major forces in the world reached a secret agreement. Both sides make compromises. The court needs sufficient funds to function normally. The salt was managed by the imperial government, and no one from the world was allowed to get involved. Ironware was liberalized, and the Song dynasty was not allowed to restrict folk ironware for any reason. Anyone in the Song dynasty could freely carry a sword on the street. Therefore, the Zhang family's business does not include salt. The Song dynasty court could not continue to function, which harmed the interests of everyone. The best way is for Zhanggu and the court to be in a state of balanced coexistence. The loss of salt tax must be related to the salt transport envoys. The rights of everyone in the Song dynasty court, from the emperor to other officials, restricted each other. No one can cover up the sky with one hand. The salt transport envoy is responsible for the salt transport in the Zhongyan area and has great autonomy. Shen Kuo, the governor of Zhongyan, only had the right to supervise the salt transportation. You cannot directly intervene in management. However, it was discovered that the salt transport envoy was suspected of corruption, and Governor Shen Tian had the right to investigate. So they planned this tax bank robbery. Zhang Feng understood the problem and said, in other words, the salt transport envoy is responsible for collecting the tax, and you, the governor, are responsible for transporting it to the capital. Yes, I am the first responsible person. Shen Tian nodded and said, in Zhongyan, not only salt tax, water transportation, grain tax, and commercial tax transportation are all the responsibility of the governor's yamen. Originally, I thought they arranged for people to steal the tax money in order to convict me and remove me. There was a stern look in Shen Tian's eyes, until you found out that I was poisoned just now. Zhang Feng contacted the cause and effect and said, they want you to bear the blame for the loss of money and create the illusion of committing suicide out of fear of crime. Shen Tian's face was gloomy. Yes, we almost let them succeed. The dangers in the court are no less dangerous than those in the Jonggu. Once vital interests are involved, kill people without mercy. The biggest weakness of court officials is that the power in their hands comes from public power. Some means are not fair and just in using the power in hand. Except for those official families with extremely long inheritance. The power of free control is far less than that of a family like the Zhang family. The Shen family and the Zhang family are married. The Zhang family needs an official status and a buffer with the court. The Shen family also needs a big family like the Zhang family to stand up for them. To touch Shen Tian is to touch the Zhang family's core interests. Zhang Feng naturally wouldn't just watch. Uncle, this matter has gone beyond the scope of a court battle. Let me handle it. Shen Tian is not a pedantic person. He knows that apart from public power, the power he can mobilize is far from comparable to that of the Zhang family. He nodded and said, That's fine, Xiao Feng, I'll leave this matter to you. In order to successfully pass this matter, one is to find the intercepted tax money. The other is to grasp the evidence of corruption in the hands of Zhang Yan Salt Transport Envoy. Zhang Feng smiled. It's a small matter, I promise to give uncle a satisfactory result. Shen Tian said no more, he still had confidence in the Zhang family's methods. Later, the two came to Shen Tian's office. A pot of white flowers is placed on the windowsill. There are long white roots growing on the edges of the flowers, exuding a light fragrance. Zhang Feng approaches the flower pot, 
and the fragrance enters the body, and is decomposed into traces of pure energy by primordial origin true qi. Found it. Zhang Feng stared at the beautiful pot of flowers in front of him. Xiao Feng, is it because of this potted flower that I was poisoned? Shen Tian looked surprised. That's right, uncle, you don't know something. This flower is called Manju Shahua, also known as the other shore flower. There is an introduction to this flower in the Thousand Faces of Poison Sutra, Byunganhua, whose origin is unknown and highly poisonous. There are two common colors, white and red, and there is also an extremely rare golden cow. White Bana flowers, innate strong people smell the fragrance of the flowers, and within seven days, toxins will enter the internal organs, the intestines will pierce and the belly will rot, and they will die. The red hibiscus flower can poison the Grand Master. Golden King of Flowers is extremely rare and poisonous to kill the Great Grand Master. There is a balance between heaven and earth, and every species has its restraints. Even though his training is as strong as that of the Great Grand Master, there are still poisonous things that can kill him. The higher the level of treasures, the rarer they are. This is the same as the number of human Great Grand Masters is very small. After listening to Zhang Feng's introduction, Shen Tian's face turned green as Zhou Dao, here comes someone. A guard came in. Grown-ups. Search Xiao He secretly and don't make any noise. Shen Tian ordered. Yes, after a cup of tea, the guard came in and said with cupped hands, Sir, Xiao He and his family were all killed. The method is suspected to be murder in silence. Those people act impeccably, and the chess pieces are immediately abandoned as soon as they are useless. You go down first. Shen Tian waved his hand tiredly. Xiao Feng, the rest is up to you. Don't worry, uncle, I'll make arrangements right away. This pot of Manju Shahua is a good thing, I will take it away. Manju Shahua is a poison and the main ingredient of innate pill. Too much tonic is poison. If Manju Shahua is used properly, it can also be used to refine innate pills that attack the bottleneck of innate, which is valuable. A homing pigeon flew from Zhang Yan Governor's mansion to Zhu Huang Baochi Pavilion. Zhang Junchen looked at the letter in his hand with a cold look on his face, humph. A mere salt transport envoy, he doesn't know how high the sky is. Someone is here. See the boss, inform the owners of the second to fifth floors to secretly arrest the Zhang Yan salt transport envoy and try not to make too much noise. Yes, the visitor gave up and left. The Zhang Yan salt transport envoy has huge interests in his hands, and is very likely to be protected by a strong grandmaster. Zhang Junchen sent out four grandmasters at once to ensure that he would be captured in one blow. Zhang Yan Yanyan Mansion, salt transport envoy Lin Zhengdong entertained an important person in the living room. Master Lin, after this incident, I promised to recommend you to take over the post of governor of Zhang Yan. I would like to congratulate Governor Lin in advance. This man was dressed as a butler, but Lin Zhengdong did not dare to look down upon him. Ha ha, I would like to send my auspicious words to Butler Wang, and ask Butler Wang to go back and say hello to the boss for me. I, Lin Zhengdong, have been in Zhongyan for a day, and Zhongyan is the territory of the boss. Lin Zhengdong laughed and took the opportunity to show his loyalty. The third grade officer in front of the prime minister's door was the steward of Wang Fu, the first assistant of the Song dynasty. Lin Zhengdong had served as the salt transport envoy for many years, and his biggest backer was Wang Fu, the chief assistant. Back then, he relied on money to pave the way and climbed to the rank of chief assistant, all the way to the high-ranking position of Zhongyan salt transport envoy. Over the years, most of the money earned in Zhongyan fell into Wang Fu's hands. If there had been no one in the court, based on what he had done over the years, Yan Luck would have overturned this coveted position long ago. When Shen Tian was serving as the governor of Zhongyan, Lin Zhengdong tried to use money to open the way and draw him into the camp to advance and retreat together. However, Shen Tian and he are not the same people. In addition, Shen Tian was transferred to Zhongyan with a special mission, so she was naturally in an opposing position to Lin Zhengdong. Shen Tian first established a foothold in the south of the Yangtze River and worked step by step until he began to investigate the salt transportation. Lin Zhengdong and Wang Fu couldn't sit still. Although Wang Fu was the chief minister of the Song dynasty, it did not mean that he could cover the sky with one hand in the Song dynasty. There are still opponents in the court staring at his position, just waiting for a flaw to be revealed. 
Wang Fu and Lin Zhengdong discussed it and decided to just get rid of Shen Tian without stopping. As long as no evidence is left behind, Wang Fu will be able to suppress this matter if he is involved in the court. Hu, suddenly, a Dao sect master's figure appeared in the darkness and stood in front of Lin Zhengdong. This person is his personal bodyguard Liang Yi. Lin Zhengdong has been a salt transport envoy for many years and has accumulated countless gold and silver. With the money to open a road, coupled with his high position and authority, he has harvested a lot of treasures, so he spent a huge price to recruit a Grand Master. With the Grand Master as his escort, he secretly solved countless troubles for him. Because of this, Lin Zhengdong still had a dull look on his face. His position touched the interests of too many people. This was not the first time he was assassinated. Liang Yi took action to solve it every time. What Lin Zhengdong didn't see was. The strong Grand Master, who always had a proud face, had a solemn expression, with faint traces of sweat on his face. Four masked people slowly walked out of the darkness, and the leader said, If I were you, I wouldn't act rashly. Another person answered, How much did Mr. Lin give you? What kind of fate are you playing? Liang Yi's throat was dry and she lost her voice. Four, four Grand Masters. Lin Zhengdong finally realized something was wrong. His years of drinking and wealth, combined with his mediocre cultivation talent, and the accumulation of a large amount of resources, could only reach the upper three grades. The four masked men in front of him each gave him a feeling like Liang Yi, unfathomable. Lord Chief Assistant's butler had been dumbfounded for a long time and sat aside without daring to move. He knows the strength of the strong master Dao sect. The powerful Grand Master is also respected by everyone in the First Assistant's mansion. There is no need to sell anyone's face except Mr. Chief Assistant. The status is still higher than that of his personal butler. After all, Lin Zhengdong was someone who had seen big scenes. After understanding the situation, he immediately handed over his hands and said, I don't know how many Grand Masters are coming, but they are not far away to welcome you. I ask myself, I have never offended you, but why are you here so important? If you are looking for money, Lin has some savings and would be happy to make friends with you. The second poster ignored Lin Zhengdong. In his opinion, no matter how big the official position is, it is not as good as the strength at hand. A mere acquired person who can be killed with a flip of his hand. He turned to look at Liang Yi who looked nervous, we are going to take this person away, please leave. If you do it, the only outcome will be death. The boss ordered him to try not to make too much noise. Judging from the aura, this Grand Master is not weak in strength. Even if he is no match for the four of them, he can still withstand a few attacks. If you make a fuss and attract guards, things will become very troublesome. Dot dot dot. Although Lin Zhengdong was not looked down upon by him, he still had the identity of the Zhongyan Salt Transport Envoy of the Great Song Dynasty and was a serious third-grade official. Absolutely abducting a third-grade official from the Salt Transport Envoy's residence was a slap in the face to the Song Dynasty court. The Imperial Court will definitely send people to investigate and cause unnecessary trouble. Qingyi Tower was not invincible enough to ignore the Song Dynasty court. Liang Yi's eyes flickered, as if he was struggling. Lin Zhengdong's expression changed and he hurriedly said, Mr. Liang, I've treated you well over the years, haven't I? He saw the concerns of the masked men. The identity of the salt transport envoy was the last talisman. Just like when he plotted to murder Shen Tian, he only dared to poison her secretly and did not dare to send anyone to kill her. There are some things, even if everyone knows that there is something fishy, but if they don't put it out in the open, there is still room for change. On the bright side, the court must give everyone an explanation. The four landlords are full of energy. Once Liang Yi takes action, they will join forces to kill him as quickly as possible. Liang Yi sighed dejectedly. Mr. Lin, I have helped you countless times over the years, and I am worthy of the price you paid. Sorry, this matter is beyond my ability. I will start immediately. I officially leave the position of guest minister in the Lin mansion. Quote, a Grand Master or two, maybe he'll give it a try. The four Grand Masters join forces, and every breath is inferior to him. Taking action by force will lead to a dead end. He still has hundreds of years to live, and he may have the opportunity to go further in the future and achieve immortality. Why are you willing to leave your life here? You. 
Lin Zhengdong did not expect that the person he regarded as his right-hand man would actually run away when in danger. He finally understood what his old father said back then. Except for your own strength, everything else is external and may leave you. Over the years, I have been dazzled by this colorful world, and my cultivation of martial Dao has been wasted. Everyone, farewell. Liang Yi bowed his hands towards the four building owners and backed away slowly. Several posters had no intention of sneak attack. He didn't look down on Liang Yi because of his escape. If it were them, they would do the same thing. What martial artist pursues is martial Dao, and what he pursues is long life. Everything else is just help on this road. The four building owners ignored the pleading looks of the two people, knocked them unconscious, and quickly left the place. Governor's Palace, Dungeon, Lin Zhengdong slowly woke up, opened his eyes and looked at the two figures in front of him. One young man didn't know him, and the other one was very familiar. It was Shen Tian, the governor of Zhongyan. Shen Tian, it turns out to be you. Lin Zhengdong looked angry. You have crossed the line. I am a high-ranking third-grade member of the imperial court. You sent someone to kidnap me and ignored the rules. If word of this comes out, you will become everyone's enemy. Lin Zhengdong was extremely shocked. Shen Tian quietly mobilized the four grandmasters. This guy with thick eyebrows and big eyes hides so well. Rule, Shen Tian sneered. You, Mr. Lin, have the nerve to discuss the rules with me. If you follow the rules, you won't put poison like Manju Shahua in my study. Lin Zhengdong's eyes showed a hint of fear. Manju Shahua was obtained by him through special channels. That person made it clear that Manju Shahua was extremely rare and had little reputation. People who are not proficient in alchemy Dao poison cannot recognize it. It seems that the poisoning incident was solved by Shen Tian, and Lin Zhengdong felt quite regretful. People who sell drugs secretly are not reliable. Of course, he will definitely not admit to the poisoning. There are some things that can only be done but not said. False accusation. If Mr. Shen wants to deal with me, just say so. There is no need to find some unfounded reasons. Lin Zhengdong had a look of injustice on his face, with tears of grievance welling up in his eyes. Zhang Feng secretly praised, these officials are all really talented people. The acting is superb and flawless. If this were placed in the entertainment industry, every micro-expression would be a drama. Shen Tian didn't need him to admit it at all. He had already seen the blood. Whether he admitted it or not was not that important. Xiao Feng, I leave it to you. Shen Kuo handed over the interrogation to Zhang Feng. Zhang Feng smiled slightly. Uncle, if you want to know anything, just ask me directly. I believe Mr. Lin will tell you everything. Lin Zhengdong didn't have any acquired skills, he still relied on resources. Zhang Feng used the sound transmission and soul-searching method to control his mind instantly. There was a trace of surprise on Shen Tian's face. He knew that Zhang Feng was not a person who talked freely, but he didn't do anything, so Lin Zhengdong was willing to say it. With my trust in Zhang Feng, I asked, is it someone you arranged to cut off the tax money? Lin Zhengdong's eyes were blank. Yes. Hiss. What kind of method is this? Shen Tian was secretly frightened and couldn't see through this nephew more and more. Fortunately, he is one of his own. If he were an enemy, he would not be able to sleep even in his dreams. Shen Tian calmed down and continued to ask, where is the tax bank? I haven't been able to eat well and sleep well these past few days because of the tax and money matters. If you don't find the tax bank, the best outcome is to be dismissed from office. There could even be jail time. The tax money is hidden in the Qinwai River. Lin Zhengdong explained the tax issue in detail. The tax money entered the river from Bianshui River in Shucheng and followed the waterway all the way to Tokyo. Zhangzhou Garrison escorted them along the way. Lin Zhengdong used the internal line to know the tax bank escort route in advance, and chose the location near Lingxian County in Weizhou. Lingxian is a small county with high mountains and far away from the emperor, so there is no need to worry about imperial reinforcements. The tax ship passed through Ling County. At night, a group of waiting water monkeys dug through the bottom of the boat. Hide the silver in the storage ring. After leaving people behind, the others fled with the tax money. The tax money naturally returned to Lin Zhengdong's hands. To be safe, 
He did not put the tax money in Yanyan Mansion, but hid it in an underground river under the Qinhuai River in an extremely hidden location. How brave! Shen Tian's face was ashen, Lin Zhengdong was too bold. Besides you, who else is involved in this matter? There is also the Sao Gang. The water ghosts are manpower arranged by the head of the Jinling branch of the Sao Gang. Salt transportation and water transportation have been tied together for a long time. It is not surprising that Lin Zhengdong has contact with the person in charge of Sao Gang Jinling. The Sao Gang is actually involved. Shen Tian frowned slightly. The Sao Gang is more than just a Jonggu Gang. Kaobang is so powerful that shipping from all countries cannot do without Kaobang as a bridge among them. It is a real behemoth. There are many grandmasters in the gang, and there may even be a great grandmaster in charge secretly. Even Shen Tian, the governor of Zhongyan, found it quite difficult. But Kaobang had touched the tax bank, and he had to deal with the loss first. Even Kaobang had to give him an explanation for this matter. Besides the Sao gang, who else is involved? Lord Wang Fu knows this. Lin Zhengdong continued to speak. Shen Tian knew that this matter alone could not overthrow a chief minister, so he continued to ask, tell me all the facts and evidence of your crime. Next, Lin Zhengdong talked alone for half an hour. Zhang Feng was shocked to hear this. Zhang Yin's salt industry is rotten to the core. Under Lin Zhengdong's management, the entire Zhang Yan salt transportation benefit was shared in monolithic. You can count the number of officials up and down who were not involved in this matter on your fingers. Shen Tian rubbed his brow and felt his head hurt. Although he guessed that the problem of salt transportation in Zhongyan was huge, he did not expect it to be this big. Not only the Zhongyan salt movement fell as a whole. There are many people in the Zhongyan officialdom who are involved in this matter. In addition to the chief minister, there are also several high-ranking officials in the court who are involved. Once this matter explodes, it will undoubtedly cause a huge earthquake in the officialdom of the Song dynasty. Uncle, how do you plan to handle this matter? Zhang Feng frowned. If there were only ten or eight officials, Shen Tian would probably capture them all with just one order. There are so many people involved now. Once these people join forces, even the emperor may find it difficult to make up his mind. Shen Tian gritted his teeth. Xiao Feng, uncle, I want to ask you something. Uncle, please speak, Zhang Feng said solemnly. You bring your aunt and Ching'er back to the Zhang family. If anything happens to me this time, with the Zhang family protecting me, mother and daughter can save their lives. Shen Tian seems to have made the decision. Uncle is ready to take action. Zhang Feng didn't answer, but asked. Shen Tian nodded. Since I caught Lin Zhendong privately, there will be no room for maneuver. Either they die or I die. If we want to survive this difficulty, we must take down Wang Fu in one fell swoop and completely resolve the future troubles. Wang Fu has been in the position of chief minister for 20 or 30 years. He is deeply entrenched, he has countless followers, and I am afraid there will be no shortage of masters in his hands. Plus it involves other people, it's very dangerous. So, I don't know if I can escape unscathed this time. The only ones I'm worried about are your aunt and her daughter. There was a hint of softness in Shen Tian's eyes. Uncle, what do you think the chances are that the great grandmaster will be dispatched for this matter? Zhang Feng must evaluate the next risks. There is no way the great grandmaster is involved. Shen Tian shook his head. The great grandmaster is the divine weapon of Zhengguo. Although this matter is big, it does not involve the great grandmaster. Whether it is the Song dynasty or other countries, the great grandmaster has hidden rules. As long as the life and death of the force is not involved, the great grandmaster cannot take action. The person who is implicating the Sao gang this time is just a branch of Jinling. It is not painful for the entire Sao gang, and it is impossible to attract the great grandmaster to come forward. Shen Tian has been in officialdom for a long time and has a thorough understanding of the situation. He also knows more about some core secrets than Zhang Feng. Does Wang Fu have a great grandmaster? Zhang Feng asked again. Shen Tian gave Zhang Feng a strange look. Do you think the Great Grandmaster is just Chinese cabbage? The Great Grandmaster is transcendent and possesses great power. How can he be commanded by a chief minister? Even if His Majesty faces the Great Grandmaster, he must be polite. He can only invite, not give orders. Zhang Feng was stunned for a moment. 
Maybe he knows that it is only a matter of time before he breaks through to Great Grandmaster in the future. He didn't take the Great Grandmaster too seriously. In my heart, I was just a little afraid of the Great Grandmaster's strength, not to mention any awe. According to Shen Tian's words, it turns out that he greatly underestimated the influence of the Great Grandmaster. Put it this way, Grandpa is awesome. Now that it was confirmed that the Great Grandmaster would not take action, Zhang Feng felt relieved and said, If the Great Grandmaster does not take action, this matter will be easily solved. Uncle, you can do whatever you want. Auntie and Chinger don't have to worry. I will also arrange for someone to protect your safety, uncle. Shen Tian heard the hidden meaning in Zhang Feng's words. He knew that there were several grandmasters in the Zhang family. But Zhang Feng didn't seem to mean to let the grandfathers come out. Otherwise, the word, please, is used instead of, arrangement. As Zhao Feng serious about what he said, Shen Tian's face was solemn. He didn't really care about his own safety, he was mainly worried about Zhang Ying's mother and daughter. Zhang Feng chuckled, how can I still make fun of my aunt's life? Okay, as long as you have confidence, you can arrange the people next to your aunt and Chinger, I don't have to worry here. Shen Tian smiled, may I ask how many grandmasters are protecting my uncle? Zhang Feng asked, you think the grandmaster is just a cabbage? Shen Tian rolled her eyes at Zhang Feng and said, I have two grandmasters around me, one late stage and one early stage, which is enough to protect my safety. Not enough. Zhang Feng shook his head. This matter is too big. The two grandmasters around you are not safe. How could Shen Tian not know that he was afraid that Zhang Feng would deploy the grandmaster to his side and affect the safety of his wife and daughter, so he refused Zhang Feng's arrangement. In addition, he is protected by a large army, so his safety is guaranteed. In this way, I will arrange four more grandmasters to protect you secretly. You don't have to worry about Giugiu and Chinger. I will naturally arrange for people to protect you. There are a total of ten grandmasters in the Singyi sect plus the fourth grandpa. This time the connection is very important. Zhang Feng plans to dispatch all ten grandmasters. As long as there is no great grandmaster taking action, there is no problem in ensuring the safety of Shen Tian's family. Shen Tian staggered when he heard this. Doth. He seemed to have never really understood the Zhang family. Zhang Feng arranged four additional grandmasters for him. There are probably no fewer than four grandmasters protecting Zhang Ying and Qing'er. In this way, at least eight grandmasters will be dispatched. As far as he knew, the Zhang family only had five or six grandmasters. Where did all these grandmasters come from? Moreover, in Zhang Feng's words, it seems that there is no need for the grandmaster within the Zhang family to come forward. The most terrifying thing to think about is, Zhang Feng talks about the Great Grandmaster without any awe at all. It gave him the impression that the Great Grandmaster was nothing more than that. The more he thought about it, the more he felt that the Zhang family was unfathomable. So it seems that I am the one who has surpassed the Zhang family. Shen Tian smiled bitterly in his heart. Fortunately, Ying'er and I treated each other with respect and were harmonious as husband and wife. If I don't treat Ying'er well, I'm afraid the Zhang family will make me miserable. Uncle, this is the arrangement. This matter should not be delayed for too long. Once the personnel I have arranged are in place, you can take action immediately. Shen Tian was not a mother-in-law person, so he nodded and said, Okay. I will call in the garrison now in the name of changing defenses. Many forces in the city have been corrupted. If the police are called, I'm afraid some people will run away without a trace after receiving the news. The governor of Zhongyan can mobilize the army in an emergency and kill first and then report. In addition, even if the army takes action, the Sao Gang does not dare to mess around. The great grandmaster dared to take action against the army, which was equivalent to declaring war with the Song dynasty. At that time, the great grandmaster of Song dynasty will take action. Zhang Feng immediately reported the matter to Grandpa For. Let him summon all the grandmasters in Singyi Tower. This time it was a protection mission, so the strongest ones who came first were not mobilized. When there are more people, the target becomes bigger and the existence of Singyi building is easily exposed. Zhang Feng is willing to make such a big effort. On the one hand, Shen Tian is one of his own and has a natural partnership with the Zhang family. Zhang Feng cannot turn a blind eye. Second, Zhang Feng has some selfish motives. 
This time the house is being searched, the good stuff must be taken first. There are no shortage of skill secrets and genius treasures. If you don't know how to be a wealthy person, you won't know how expensive oil and salt are. The Zhang family wants to be a transcendent family and never has too much money. In fact, if Shen Tian didn't want to make this matter a big deal, there was nothing he could do, he could treat him the way he wanted, and let Lin Zhengdong commit suicide after finding Han Yin. However, this is bound to offend Wang Fu. You can only be a thief for a thousand days, but there is no way to prevent a thief for a thousand days. It would be better to simply make things bigger and overturn them all at once. The next day, Lin Junchen appeared in the governor's mansion with nine grandmasters and masks. When Shen Tian saw ten grandmasters appearing, he was stunned. I am already full of confidence in this operation. Xiao Feng, thank you very much. Shen Tian's face was full of excitement. Uncle, you should be busy with your own business. Don't worry about the safety of the mansion. Okay, then I'll take action. Shen Tian has many troops in hand and is full of heroism. The four grandmasters hid in secret and followed behind. This matter was a matter for the imperial court. Zhang Feng did not go with him and stayed in the house to protect the two female relatives. He told his uncle in advance that the Zhang family would make a copy of all the exercises obtained by confiscating the family's house. Shen Tian waved his hand. When the time comes, just take whatever you like. Chen Shi. All four gates of Jinling City were blocked. Groups of well-armored soldiers were stationed on the city wall. The bowstring in his hand was fully loaded, and his eyes were staring at the entrance and exit. A series of city crossbows with thick arms were arranged neatly, and their arrows were aimed at the inner city. The material used in the city crossbow arrows is a special metal that can penetrate the protective body true chi. A strong grandmaster would not dare to break through when faced with a city crossbow. The garrison received a death order. Without the governor's order, anyone who dares to break through the city gate for any reason will be shot. All responsibilities will be borne by the governor. With such an order, the garrison turned into citizens of the motherland. A richly dressed young man, relying on his status as a second-generation official, wanted to show off in front of the garrison but was shot dead on the spot with an arrow. Only then did everyone know that the army was serious about it. The situation at the city gate spread to the city in a short time. Some powerful people who cannot stand on the stage are panic-stricken. Many forces who thought they had not offended the authorities began to inquire what had happened. Only some well-informed forces had some guesses in their minds. Maybe it has something to do with the interception of tax money a few days ago. There are even some people with great divine ability who look at Kaobang with joy and others' misfortune. Shen Tian led the garrison to the place where the tax money was buried in the Qinwai River. Boxes of silver were salvaged from the underground river by the army. Shen Tian breathed a sigh of relief. The money was recovered and the evidence was conclusive. Lin Zhengdong could be nailed to death with a hammer. Move the tax money to the temporary military camp established in the city. Shen Tian didn't stop and led his troops to surround Yanyan Mansion in Zhongyan. The salt transport envoy suddenly disappeared yesterday, and the garrison blocked all the city gates early this morning. Officials in Yanyan Mansion were panicked. Arrest people according to the list but resist, we will kill them without mercy. Shen Tian ordered coldly. Yes, sir. Soldiers like wolves and tigers rushed into Yanyan Yaman. What do you want to do with the garrison? I am a member of the salt movement and a fourth grade official. Do you want to rebel? It's you who are captured, taken away. The garrison commanders were too lazy to talk nonsense. The governor was there to support him if the sky fell. They were just following orders. Officials of the Salt Transportation Department were arrested one by one, and the entire Salt Transportation Department was in a state of panic. The eyes of the guard captain of the Salt Transport Department flickered. He is a direct descendant of Lin Zhengdong, the Salt Transport Envoy, and he has had a share of the Salt Transport Department's profits over the years. He knew that as long as he was caught, he would never survive. Brothers, the garrison has rebelled. If you surrender, you will be captured and killed. All of you will be killed by me. We are following the order of the governor to arrest suspects. Anyone who dares to resist will be shot to death. The garrison commander shouted loudly. The guard captain has been in charge of the salt transport division guard for many years and has many confidants. Following his order, 
Many guards drew their swords and rushed towards the garrison. Kill. The commander gave the order and the two sides fought in close combat. Facing the formation of regular soldiers, the escort team was stunned. Many people were hacked to death on the spot. There were also some guard members who did not listen to the guard captain. They were eating silver, they were not involved in anything illegal, and they did not have to risk their lives for the selfish interests of the captain of the guard. I saw many people in the escort team being killed, and even the captain was arrested. One by one, they put down their weapons. Lock them all up. The garrison commander waved his hand. Nine out of ten officials from the Salt Transportation Department were eliminated. Next, the Yanyan Department office may be paralyzed. Shen Tian entered the Yaman, and the few remaining officials were trembling, fearing that they would be next. Shen Tian was a little helpless and appointed an official with the highest rank to be in charge of the Salt Transportation Department temporarily until further notice from the court. The next step is to ransack the house. The Salt Transport Envoy, Salt Transport Fellows, Salt Transport Governors, including other officials of the Zhongyan Prefecture who participated in the matter, as long as Lin Zhengdong confessed, were all arrested and brought to justice. Kaobang Jinling's sub rudder, the helmsman Cao Wenwei's face was ashen. The news in the city couldn't be hidden from him. Noon Yin was found and the incident happened. Cao Wenwei is like an ant on a hot pot. The Cao gang colluded with the Yanyan division. Salt was transported to various places, and Kaobang's help was indispensable. As the leader of the Jinling Cao gang, he holds a high position of authority and is Lin Zhengdong's key figure to win over. Over the years, he has made a lot of money through private sales. When Shen Tian moved the Salt Transportation Department, it was his interests that he moved. Therefore, when Wang Fu and Lin Zhengdong wanted to get rid of Shen Tian, he arranged for the cooperation of their confidants without saying a word. Kaobang headquarters did not know about this matter. Kaobang cooperated with the imperial courts of various countries. If it were known that he was involved in robbing the imperial court, the Cao Gang would be the first to spare him. This matter must not be known to the headquarters. A trace of cruelty flashed in Cao Wenwei's eyes. The instigator is Shen Tian. As long as Shen Tian is eliminated, there is still room for maneuver in this matter. Unless absolutely necessary, Cao Wenwei absolutely did not want to kill a second-grade official of the imperial court on the street. Once it is done, the imperial court will definitely send personnel to investigate the matter and get to the bottom of it. At this point, there is no other choice. If you don't do it, you will have to wait for death. I hope Wang Fu can suppress this matter. With the participation of the garrison, Shen Tian's raid on his home went smoothly without encountering large-scale harassment. But he didn't relax. Lin Zhengdong is too involved, and someone will definitely obstruct it. The two grandmasters followed Shen Tian closely and did not allow anyone to get close. At this moment, there was a commotion among the troops stationed outside, and the sound of swordsmen clashing appeared. Screams came from time to time. A group of masked men in black rushed straight towards Shen Tian. There were twenty or thirty people in total. The weapons in hand carry the power of Tru Chi, the garrison suffered a lot of casualties. This group of people are all experts above innate. Shen Tian's eyes flashed. The army is good at large-scale operations, but the strength of the army cannot be fully utilized in the city. When it comes to personal strength, there is a big difference between the strength of garrison and this group of innate and above masters. The venue is too small. It is difficult for the arrows and crossbows in the army to be very effective. The masked man at the head took the lead. Every time a palm was swung, several people were shocked to the point of vomiting blood and died. Protect the governor. There are 100,000 troops stationed in the Zhongyan area, and the governor Lu Zhang is also a Marshal Dao Grand Master. The garrison commander began to resist the killers who broke through. This time, in order to catch all those involved, all 10,000 garrison commanders were transferred into the city. However, facing the surprise attack of 20 or 30 innate masters, the 10 commanders were in danger. Lu Zhang looked anxious. These ten leaders are all innate masters, and he will be heartbroken if any one of them is lost. Mr. Governor, let me escort you to the military camp first. As long as you enter the military camp, these masters have nothing to fear. If you want to break through the protection of a hundred thousand heavy crossbows head-on, you must be a great grandmaster. No problem. Shen Tian's face was calm. 
Director Liu, you two seniors, you should also take action. But, Mr. Governor, your safety. Governor Liu looked anxious. It doesn't matter. I'm safe. Shen Tian waved his hand. The two grandmasters saw ten masked grandmasters in the governor's mansion and knew that the governor was secretly protected. So he said, Sir, let's take action. Two grandmasters rushed into the field. Two of the governor's personal guards were on board. Governor Liu gritted his teeth and joined the battlefield. Among the twenty or thirty people who came, there were only two grandmasters, and the rest were all innate masters. Shen Tian's two guards blocked the two grandmasters. Grandmaster Zhang is like a wolf that kills sheep. With the addition of three grandmasters, the situation was instantly reversed. Go and attack and kill Shen Tian. The leading man in black was blocked and shouted loudly. Yes, there were more than ten innates on the masked man's side, and the governor, Zhuang's good friend, couldn't stop them all. Seeing several innate masters dragging him down, the remaining people all attacked Shen Tian. Governor Liu's heart was in his throat. The governor was killed under his protection, and his future as a governor came to an end, which would become an indelible stain in his life. Several innates quickly rushed to Shen Tian, but did not see any panic in his expression. Don't wait for a few innates to take action. Two men with masks on their faces suddenly appeared next to Shen Tian, guarding him on the left and right in the middle. The long sword in his hand appeared like a ghost, and in just a few breaths, he killed all the attacking innate masters. The expression of the leader in black changed. Shen Tian actually arranged for five grandmasters to provide personal protection, which greatly exceeded his expectations. This matter must be considered in the long run. Withdraw, the leader of the men in black shouted loudly and took the lead in breaking through, leaving behind the corpses of more than a dozen innate masters. Several grandmasters want to ensure Shen Tian's safety to prevent the tiger from leaving the mountain. You can only let it go. Kaobang. Cao Wenwei took off the turban on his face, still on the ground with an angry look on his face. This time, not only the elite members of the Jinling branch were dispatched, but also those who had been trained privately joined the operation. Lost heavily, Cao Bang is not his private property. Every innate expert who dies must explain the reason to the boss. One or two deaths can be concealed, but so many deaths at once would be a headache even for him. No, we must not sit still and wait for death. He can't control the death of innate master for the time being. We must inform Wang Fu about this and ask him to do his best to send people to help. Once Shen Tian is alive, everyone will be in bad luck. Cao Wenwei returned to the study and wrote a letter as quickly as possible. He whistled outside the window, and a handsome Heidongqing appeared outside the window like a swooping fighter jet. The Heidongqing was the national bird of the Qing dynasty and its number was extremely rare. He spent a lot of money to get one from the Qing dynasty. Heidongqing is extremely fast and can travel thousands of miles a day. There are no natural enemies in the sky, and once domesticated, they are used to convey messages, and there is no cure. Cao Wenwei tied the written letter on Hai Dongqing's leg, stroked his head and said, Go! Hai Dongqing gave a spiritual cry, flapped its wings, and quickly disappeared into the sky, leaving only a black dot. Tokyo, the residence of the chief minister. Wang Fu untied the letter from Hai Dongqing's lap. Hai Dongqing is Cao Wenwei's treasure. Once Hei Dongqing is used, it will definitely be urgent news. Wang Fu opened the letter, his eyes gleaming horribly, Shen Tian is so brave. Wang Fu was furious and was simply lawless. He actually used the garrison to arrest court officials on a large scale. I will definitely get a copy of it at the official's house later. I wonder if Lin Zhengdong can bear it. Wang Fu put his hands behind his back and fell into deep thought. Someone is coming, Master Chief Assistant. What's the matter? A figure appeared out of thin air. This person had bright eyes and plenty of energy. At first glance, he was a successful grandmaster level expert. Feng Ying, is there something I need you to do? Wang Fu spoke leisurely. Sir, please speak. Feng Ying said with cupped hands. Send all the grandmasters in the mansion to Jinling to kill Shen Tian. Sir, do you need to use such a big force? Feng Ying looked confused. Wang Fu didn't say much and handed the letter in his hand to Feng Ying. After Feng Ying read the letter, his eyes narrowed, Shen Kuo controls such a great power. Shen Tian is related to the Suzhou Zhang family, so the Zhang family must have taken action. 
Wang Fu had a rough guess in his mind. Sir, don't worry, I will definitely complete the mission. Feng Ying was about to resign. The Wang Fu family has been inherited for hundreds of years and has always been at the pinnacle of power in the officialdom of the Song dynasty, with an unfathomable background. Etc. If you can't do anything, just find a way to kill Lin Zhengdong, Cao Wen and Butler Liu. They know too much. Feng Ying's eyes narrowed. Yes. After a whole day of arrests, everyone on the list was arrested and brought to justice. Cao Wenwei was also arrested by several grandmasters who went there. The city gate did not let down its guard. Next, new personnel will definitely be revealed. Now that he has taken action, Shen Tian is not prepared to hold back. News about this matter was passed to the officials as quickly as possible. In addition, she revealed the news to Wang Fu's political opponents. The battle in Jinling is one of them. The battle in the court will not be easier than in Jinling. In the end, one group was destined to fall, and countless people fell to the ground. There are only so many official positions. If you want greater rights and more resources, you can only go to the ropes. Shen Tian has his own demands in his heart. It was by virtue of this incident that he stepped into the cabinet and became one of the most powerful people in the officialdom of the Song dynasty. In the dungeon, screams rang out one after another. Under severe punishment, you are not afraid of hard bones. In the officialdom, how many people are truly open and honest? With that little salary, there are not enough resources for cultivation, let alone raising disciples. Inside the governor's palace, Confession documents one after another were continuously sent to Shen Tian's desk. Zhang Feng sighed sincerely. Uncle, Song Ji is not having a good time today. Shen Tian shook his head and smiled bitterly. In the officialdom, those with low status want to go to higher places, while those with higher positions are always worried about being pulled down by others. If you don't touch others, others will touch you. It's okay to hold a high position and not do anything, BCAA. There will be people who want to do things to replace you. Yes, there are only so many resources, and everyone wants to take more. This is the same as his development of the Zhang family. If a family wants to develop, it is destined to steal other people's shares. It won't work if we don't develop. There is a force stronger than you on your head. If you accidentally mess with it, your family will be ruined. Zhang Feng doesn't like this feeling. He didn't want to be like the four major families in Hangzhou or the Zhou family. One wrong move would lead to abyss. You must control your destiny in your own hands. Lin Zhengdong is a very thief. He knew that no matter how much he could earn from his position, if something happened, he could easily become an outcast. Therefore, for every financial contribution, he used paper to clearly remember the time, amount, and type. Once something happens, this is a talisman. Unexpectedly, Shen Tian took action too quickly. There was no time to wait for the big shots to come to the rescue. Shen Tian sorted out all the facts of the case, clarified the whole story, connected the evidence against the high officials in the DPRK, and submitted a letter to the officials through secret channels. Inside Jinling City, seven figures suddenly appeared outside the governor's mansion. Although the garrison blocked the city gate. For the Grand Master flying in the sky, those guards are equivalent to none. The seven people entered Jinling City smoothly. Wang Fu made a desperate move this time and sent out all the powerful grandmasters in the mansion. This time, without the help of the Zhang family, even if Shen Tian arrested someone, he would most likely fail. If the rules on the scene are lost, others will directly overturn the table. Brother Feng Ying, should we just attack the governor's mansion directly? Several people were exploring the outside of the governor's mansion, and the Japanese asked. Feng Ying pondered for a moment. According to the news that came before Cao Wenwei was captured, there are four grandmasters around Shen Tian, plus a garrison admiral. I wonder if there are any hidden ones in the mansion. If we rashly launch a surprise attack, we will easily alert the enemy. We can't just wait like this. One person frowned. If Shen Tian stays in the governor's mansion, I'm afraid it will be too late. Feng Ying sighed and gritted his teeth, then let's attack. Speed up the speed and fight quickly to prevent the garrison from coming to assist. Several people arranged another raid plan. Taking advantage of the darkness, we quietly approached the governor's mansion. In the study, Shen Tian was still burning the midnight oil to fight. A crackling sound came from the window. 
The Grand Master Guard beside him drew his sword and shot down the flying hidden weapon, shouting, Enemy attack! The sneak attack did not work, Fang Ying shouted, Act as planned. The seven people rushed straight to the study. Four figures wearing masks stood at the front. Six Grand Masters protect Shen Tian closely, what a great feat. It's more protective than Lord Shofu. Fang Ying was secretly shocked. Fortunately, there were only six people on the other side, and there was one more on their side. As long as the six people are held back, the other person can be free to kill Shen Tian. Shen Tian has a good cultivation talent. With the accumulation of resources, his cultivation has reached the middle stage of innate. But compared to Grand Master, this level of cultivation is a bit unsatisfactory. Fang Ying and others didn't waste any time, they all took action, and the moment they took action, the study was raised to the ground. Zhang Feng heard the sound of enemy attack. Then there was a, bang, the study was raised to the ground, and a dozen figures appeared in the air. With six grandmasters guarding him, Shen Tian was fine for the time being, but looked a little embarrassed. Zhang Feng rushed to the battlefield as quickly as possible. The six people wanted to protect Shen Tian and were tied up in a fight. As for Case Cage and the other seven people, they didn't have any worries. What a big deal. Zhang Feng put on a mask and calmed down his breath. He took action. I haven't fought with the Grand Master for a long time, and I feel a little itchy for a while. Brush. The long sword thrust out. Feng Ying's face changed. Is this governor's mansion a dragon's pond and a tiger's den? Is there any mistake? With the addition of Zhang Feng, the other six people let go and each found an opponent. Fortunately, the governor's palace is large enough. In just a few breaths, everyone raised a hundred meters radius to the ground. Zhang Junchen appeared next to Shen Tian to prevent the transfer of households from the mountain. Feng Ying's heart sank. How many grandmasters were there in the governor's mansion? One after another, with no end in sight. The most fearful thing about the security guards around the emperor of the Song dynasty is this. He felt that he had not broken into the governor's palace, but the palace. After several months of practice, Zhang Feng's cultivation was only one step away from filling his dantian. Kei's cage is at the pinnacle of grandmaster cultivation. He is extremely powerful, has superb swordsmanship, and his frontal combat effectiveness is not superior to that of the thousand-faced poison demon. The more he fought, the more frightened he became. The strength of the person opposite him was not inferior to him at all. He no longer holds much hope for this trip and is ready to settle for the next best thing. He didn't believe that there were so many grandmasters in the prison. Withdraw, Case Cage shouted loudly. Keep them, Zhang Junchen said. A group of grandmasters hiding in the dark are too harmful. Now that they are here, eat them all. As soon as Zhang Junchen finished speaking, three more masked figures joined the battlefield. There are a total of ten grandmasters in Qingyi Tower, plus the two beside Shen Tian, plus Zhang Feng, which is equivalent to thirteen grandmasters. Except for the two who stayed to protect Zhang Ying's mother and daughter, everyone else joined the battlefield. The movement in the governor's mansion alarmed Lu Zhang in the military camp. At this time, he had arrived after hearing the news. When I saw a dozen grandmasters fighting together, I couldn't help but feel numb. He also felt a little in awe of the power Shen Tian controlled. I silently made up my mind to hug this thick thigh. Lu Zhang joined the battlefield. Except for Zhang Feng and the opponent of the second poster. The grandmasters sent by Wang Fu were all under siege. Case Cage was a little desperate. I'm afraid it's not as simple as settling for the next best thing. Maybe they all stay here. No. We can't fight any longer. Feng Ying fought and retreated. He had no control over other people and had to go back and inform the chief minister about the matter. Zhang Feng saw Feng Ying's intention. Feng Ying withdrew from the house because he was deliberately indulging. He was afraid that it would accidentally affect Zhang Ying's mother and daughter. Others also tried their best to place the battlefield outside the governor's palace. After verifying his recent growth in strength, Zhang Feng had a rough assessment of his current strength. Under full firepower, defeating the powerful Aikika head-on at the peak of the Grandmaster level is not a big problem. As for the double-spend Grandmaster peak, I have never played it and cannot evaluate it. The only time he fought against Double Flower Grandmaster at his peak was during a sneak attack on Huo Shu. Huo Shu's specific strength was not tested that time. 
Fang Ying left the governor's mansion and didn't hold back anymore. The speed of swinging the long knife was actually several times faster. Only after images were left. Ding 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 ding. The swords met and sparks collided in the air. The mood of the wind. Fang Ying's long knife contains a hint of artistic conception. It blends into the wind, even with the blessing of wind power. No wonder it's called Feng Ying. Once any set of martial arts is fully comprehended, it is possible to comprehend the artistic conception in the future. The higher the level of martial arts, the greater the possibility and the stronger the artistic conception. Feng Ying has practiced a set of grandmaster level earth level martial arts, wind shadow sword, since he was a child. He has perfected the Feng Shadow Sword for hundreds of years and finally understood the artistic conception of wind. With the perfect sword skills of earth level and the artistic conception of wind. Feng Ying is confident, and there are few opponents under the Double Flower Grandmaster. The slightly weaker Double Flower Grandmaster is not impossible to fight, and the outcome is still a matter of choice. Dot dot dot. Asterisk asterisk asterisk. The eruption of the wind shadow, Zhang Fengxi. Primordial origin artistic conception. Around the long sword, streaks of mist suddenly appeared. In the mist, there are figures of long swords. Feng Ying's expression changed, what kind of artistic conception is this? His artistic conception of wind was like being trapped in a quagmire. The area covered by Zhang Feng sword intent. Neither earth, fire, water, nor wind existed, just like a hazy chaotic space. And it seems to be inclusive of all things. Feng er returned to the embrace of Zhang Feng's sword intent and was controlled by him. The case cage could no longer rely on any bit of wind power. Primordial origin artistic conception, inclusive of all things. All things are in primordial origin. Although the primordial origin sword intent only has a prototype at this time. Nor can a single artistic conception of wind be shaken. What kind of artistic conception is this? It's terrifying. There were hideous wounds on Feng Ying's body. He seemed to be surrounded by sword intents, and he was resisting each one with instinct. The artistic conception gained through heaven-level martial arts is not that powerful. O.J. Feng Ying lost his mind and his long knife was knocked down by Zhang Feng. Immediately, Zhang Feng sealed his pulse and pointed it at him. Feng Ying's true qi blood was blocked all over his body, his limbs became numb, and he fell to the ground. Huo Shu has an extremely powerful acupuncture technique that can block the flow of true qi blood vessels throughout the body. Zhang Feng smiled and accepted. Kei's cage is at the peak of his grandmaster status and can be useful if he stays. There are many people in the Zhang family who are not very qualified. Zhang Feng plans to select people who are loyal to the family from among his clansmen to practice the Biming Divine Art. Next, Zhang Feng shuttled between the grandmasters from time to time. Capture all seven incoming grandmasters alive. Zhang Junchen looked at these grandmasters eagerly, probably knowing what Zhang Feng wanted to do. These grandmasters are equivalent to humanoid resources. The Zhang family may become a real family in the future. The seven prisoners were temporarily imprisoned in the dungeon. Shen Tian's eyes were filled with wonder. Seven grandmasters attacked, but ten didn't escape. He felt a sense of unpredictability about the Zhang family's strength. Chapter 81. During the Song Dynasty, Kui Gong Hall was the place of early dynasty. The air pressure in the hall was very low, and it felt like a storm was coming. Emperor Zhao Zhen of the Song Dynasty was wearing a dragon robe and sitting in a high position, his face looking nothing different from usual. If you have something to do, leave the court. The eunuch Zhao eunuch in front of the palace shouted in a sharp voice. There was a moment of silence in the hall, and the sound of breathing could be heard clearly. Everyone lowered their heads, but their eyes were looking around with their peripheral vision. I have something to report. Li Lian, the imperial censor of Zuadu, walked out of the queue holding a Watt tablet in his hand. What's important, Li Qing? Zhao Zhen leaned forward. I impeach Shen Tian, the governor of Zhongyan, for acting recklessly, deploying troops without authorization, excluding dissidents, and being suspected of treason. Li Lian's eyes were angry and his face was righteous, and he was irreconcilable with evil. Oh, yeah, Zhao Zhen looked surprised. Is there any misunderstanding about this matter? In the official family, Shen Tian arrested Lin Zhengdong, the Zhongyan Salt Transport Envoy, and even every official in the Salt Transport Yaman. 
They were all put in prison and tortured to extract confessions. Those who obey me will prosper and those who go against me will perish, to the point of being unscrupulous. Only when the Zhongyan garrison encounters a major incident, the governor has the right to temporarily control it. What is Shen Tian going to do? Treat the Zhongyan garrison as his own private army. What if everyone follows suit? Isn't this the world in chaos? The two states in the south of the Yangtze River now only know Shen Tian, but they don't know about the court or the officials. Li Lian's every word was heartbreaking, taking this matter to a higher level. He pointedly pointed out that Shen Tian had taken power without authorization and was rebellious. I have something to report to the official family. At this time, Qin Yun, the censor of the right capital, bowed and stood. Li Lian's expression changed. Qin Yun, the censor of the right capital, never dealt with him, and Sha Shahe also did the same. The censor of the left capital and the censor of the right capital are both second grade officials and are both big shots in the court. However, the Song dynasty respected Zuo, and Li Lian entered the cabinet as the censor of Zuodu, implicitly overpowering Qin Yun. Without waiting for Li Lian to speak, Qin Yun said, As far as I know, this matter is different from what Mr. Li said. Not only is Shen Tian innocent, but he has made great contributions to the country. Master Qin speaks for Shen Tian like this, is it possible that the two of you are colluding? Li Lian retorted. Master Li is eager to criticize the situation before the matter is clear. Isn't it because Master Ji is guilty? Qin Yun started directly. Although his position was firmly lower than that of Li Lian, he was not someone who could be manipulated by him. I don't have much fear of Li Lian. In addition, this matter may be an opportunity to remove Li Lian and move into the cabinet. With such a good opportunity in front of me, if I don't take advantage of it, I might as well go home and sell sweet potatoes. It's insulting to be polite. Li Lian's face darkened. He knew that it was almost impossible to stop Qin Yun from speaking. The two of them could not pee in the same pot. Okay, if you have something to say, don't attack personally. Zhao Zhen, a good old man, stopped the argument between the two. Yes, official. Qin Yun cupped his hands and continued. The tax bank was stolen a few days ago. Shen Tian launched an investigation that day, and finally found out that Lin Zhengdong colluded with the Jinling helmsman of the Sao gang to jointly plan this tax bank robbery. Lin Zhengdong also secretly poisoned Shen Tian in order to blame the matter on Shen Tian and create the illusion that Shen Tian committed suicide out of fear of guilt. Lin Zhengdong behaves like a bandit. Qin Yun looked angry, but he wasn't pretending. There are official rules in officialdom, and secretly poisoning a dignified second-grade official obviously broke the rules. When other officials heard Qin Yun's narration, their faces turned pale. Qin Yun has no evidence, cannot speak conclusively, and talks nonsense. Lin Zhengdong broke the rules. Today he can poison the governor, but tomorrow he can poison the officials. This kind of rule-breaking behavior has no place on the table. Fighting in the court is within the rules. If you lose, you will be dismissed and go home, at least your life will be safe. Once someone breaks the rules and does such evil things, everyone will be in danger. Once exposed, he will become the enemy of everyone in the officialdom. Of course, Li Lian would not sit still and wait for death. He argued, who knows if Lin Zhengdong robbed the money. Shen Tian has everything in Zhongyan. Could he have tortured him to extract a confession and put the matter on Lin Zhengdong? Li Lian's words made some people nod. In official circles, this kind of thing has not happened before. In addition, Shen Tian is very powerful in Zhongyan, so the possibility is very high. Qin Yun sneered and did not argue with Li Lian on this issue. He continued. During Lin Zhengdong's reign, he was unscrupulous and committed huge amounts of corruption. As far as I know, the amount of silver found in his mansion alone exceeds two million tails. Other jewelry, jades, antique calligraphy and paintings, and real estate acres are still being investigated. It is initially estimated that it will not be less than two million tails. Qin Yun looked distressed and said, This is all due to the wealth of the people. This is the rat, the rat that dug up the foundation of our Song dynasty. Lin Zhengdong, a man who will die is not enough to atone for his sins. He really deserves to be killed. Doff. This number made the officials in the court look surprised. They knew that the Zhongyan Salt Transport Envoy was a fat man, but they didn't expect him to be so fat. 
Zhao Zhen's face was dark. Isn't it a bit unscrupulous for a third grade official to make so much money? This is just one of them. Lin Zhengdong was not the only one to make money. He pulled the entire Zhongyan Salt Transportation Department onto one boat. The confiscated gold and silver from the Zhongyan Salt Transportation Department exceeded 10 million taels. Including other items, the total value was 2,000 more than 10,000 taels. No wonder the salt tax in the fertile land of Zhongyan has never been collected. Feelings, these people have jointly raked in all the income from Zhongyan salt. Master Li, could it be that Chen Tian was selfless and spent 20 million taels of his own money just to unseat Lin Zhengdong? Shen Tian really has great plans, Qin Yun said with a strange air of yin and yang. The others had strange looks on their faces, secretly marveling at Zhang Yun's wealth. This is only the number reported, in fact it will be more than this. Even though Zhao Zhen already knew about this, he was still a little angry when he heard it from Qin Yun again. You said, just work harder. You can't fish unscrupulously. How can the court operate if all the money you make is in your hands? If the imperial court cannot function, won't the world be in chaos? Zhao Zhen clenched his fist tightly. This Lin Zhengdong deserves to die. With the numbers in front of him, Li Lian knew that there was no room for maneuver in this matter, and it was imperative to remove himself from this matter. He had a heartbroken look on his face, with tears streaming down his face. Thief Lin, how dare you lie to me? He fell to his knees with a bang. I mistakenly believed in the thief's one-sided words, so that I became associated with the thief. As the censor of Zuadu, I should be aware of everything, but I listened to the thief's rhetoric. How can I have the face to take on such an important task? I resigned from the position of censor of Zuadu. Please ask the officials for permission. No, as soon as he finished speaking, an official with a resolute expression holding a watt tablet walked out of the queue. Master Li is the pillar of the court. The thieves are cunning, so we cannot blame them all on you. I ask you to keep them useful and serve the court. Quote dot 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 quote. Li Lian looked troubled, as if he was struggling between heaven and man. I think Mr. Li just wants to escape from the golden cicada's shell and evade responsibility. Qin Yun beat the drowned dog hard and reported again, Guan family, I still have something to report. Li Lian's expression changed, and Wang Fu, who had been standing at the top of the list silently, finally couldn't help but speak, Master Qin has to be merciful and merciful. We are officials in the same dynasty, so why be aggressive? There was something in Wang Fu's words that suggested that this was the end of the matter and that it was time to come to an end. If it were normal, Li Lian would definitely be happy to see him well, and he would have to give the chief assistant some face. But this time, it was his great opportunity. Moreover, after this incident, it is still unknown whether the chief assistant can continue to do so. He's not fighting alone. Master Chief Assistant, why don't you let Master Chin finish the matter? You can tell others everything you want. The second assistant, Yong Li, came out with a selfless look on his face. Wang Fu felt cold in his heart. Yong Li and Li Lian were hooking up. Above the court, he is not strong enough to stop others from talking, so he can only show off his tactics. After Yang Li came out, Qin Yun became more confident. He said something groundbreaking. In the official family, Lin Zhengdong did not swallow all the money he embezzled. Most of the money fell into the hands of two adults, Wang Fu and Li Lian. Qin Yun dropped a bomb, which shocked everyone so much that they didn't dare to vent their anger. Bloody mouth. Wang Fu was stepped on and hurt. I have been working hard as the first assistant for these years. I can't say how much I have contributed to the Song Dynasty, but I have managed things in an orderly manner, and I am worthy of the position of first assistant. Everyone nodded secretly. Not to mention what Wang Fu is like as a person, he is indeed very capable. The prosperity of the Song Dynasty today cannot be attributed to Wang. I have never doubted your ability as a low-ranking official. No matter how powerful your ability is, it is not the reason for corrupting huge amounts of wealth and destroying the foundation of my Song Dynasty's tax revenue. Now that Qin Yun was in this situation, how could he allow Wang Fu to change the topic easily? It's just random biting. Lin Zhengdong is not a son of man. Before he died, he wanted to drag us into the water and disrupt the Song Dynasty. Wang Fu was filled with indignation and naturally would not admit it. Lin Zhengdong gave him money, even though he knew it. 
Even if Lin Zhengong left records, so what, can't those records be forged? If you write down how much money you gave to someone on paper, does that really mean you gave it to someone? Qin Yun had already deduced all the possible situations at home for today, and naturally knew that Wang Fu would not admit it. But he was not anxious at all and said calmly, Sir Shou Fu is indeed right, but as far as I know, Lord Naosuke's housekeeper was caught on the spot in Lin Zhengdong's mansion. It's unlikely that Lord Chief Assistant Twelve's housekeeper would suddenly go to Jinling, thousands of miles away, to meet Lin Zhengdong for tea, right? Wang Fu's expression changed. This was indeed a flaw. However, this matter alone could not explain anything. Qin Yun did not wait for Wang Fu's quibbles, and continued, According to the confession of Mr. Xu Feng's housekeeper, he roughly knows where the money Mr. Xu Feng has hidden over the years is. Whether it is genuine or not, we will go and check together to find out. Wang Fu panicked in his heart, and Li Lian immediately reprimanded, It's just nonsense. Just because of a butler's accusation, we have to search the mansion of a dignified chief minister. Isn't it a violation of the rules? Li Lian knew that it was not convenient for Lei Wangfu to speak. Once the chief minister's residence is searched, it will definitely be his turn next. Therefore, he must stand up and resolutely stop this from happening. Master Chief Assistant, what do you say? Yang Li spoke. He is the second most senior person in the court, and his words carry a lot of weight. Wang Fu's face was dejected. Knowing that he had lost this game, he sighed. I don't know people well, so that the housekeeper used my name to make random friends with officials in the court puppet assistant. I would like to report to the official family that I, the veteran, are old and would like to resign from the position of the first assistant. The second assistant, Mr. Yang Li, is upright and honest. The veteran recommends Mr. Yang to take over the position of the first assistant. After Wang Fu finished speaking, he took off his official hat. Master Wang, alas, you are so careless, Yang Li sighed with regret. Wang Fu's meaning was very clear. I admit defeat in this game. The position of chief assistant is given to you. But don't push people too hard, as no one's bottom is clean. I just said that you are upright and honest. This is a reminder to you. I may not have the evidence to kill you, but it is not a big problem to remove you. It will do you no good if the fish is dead or the net is broken. Yang Li naturally accepted the offer and admitted in his words that Wang Fu was too careless, which caused the housekeeper to make random friends with court officials. By forcing Wang Fu to death, he would not be able to get any favors from him and would leave an aggressive impression on others. Wang Fu has already admitted defeat, yet he still recommends you to take over as the chief assistant. You are still aggressive and holding on to people, what kind of hatred and grudges are there? Therefore, the two big guys reached an agreement in a few words, and no one could find anything wrong with it. Li Lian's expression changed. It was time for him to make a decision. If you don't retreat from the rapids and leave no dignity for yourself, others will give you dignity next. As the official was the censor of Zuadu, he was naturally not a fool. He knelt down on the ground with a snap. I'm resigning again. I don't know people well and am no longer suitable for the position of Zuadu Yushi. I also asked the officials to let me retire and return to my hometown for the sake of my age. After Li Lian finished speaking, the court became quiet. No one would be ignorant to retain him anymore. Li Lian did not recommend anyone to serve as the censor of Zuadu, and expressed his underlying intention to Zhao Zhen, I am going to retire and return to my hometown, and I will leave a vacant position for the censor of Zuadu for you to designate. As soon as he said this, Yang Li and others did not dare to continue targeting him. You just took the position of chief assistant, do you still want the position of Zuadu censor? What do you want to do, control the court? If Li Lian compromised with Yang Li like Wang Fu did, then Zhao Zhen would not let him go first. Yang Li has the position of chief assistant, and adding a censor of Zuadu, taking into account the original power, will not break the balance of the court. That's not bad. Therefore, Li Lian's only compromise target can only be Zhao Zhen, not anyone else. Yang Li understood this meaning. Zhao Zhen also understood this meaning. Li Lian has expressed his kindness to you. Give up the position of a pavilion elder. If you don't let him go, could it be that his usual benevolence and righteousness are just an act? You're just putting on a show. From now on, no one will be prepared to guard against you. 
Zhao Zhen let out a long sigh. Li Cheng, you are so confused. How can you trust others so easily? I hope you will learn from it and gain wisdom. Don't let others deceive you in the future. Li Lian's face was full of tears and he cried, Thank you so much for your love and care. If I can't be with you in the future, please take care of your dragon body. I will pray for you every day in my heart. Li Lian knew that this issue was over. Although he lost his official position, Zhao Zhen did not finish the matter, but left him a way to survive. This matter has come to an end. After some compromise, a result that was satisfactory to several parties was reached. P.S. In response to the questions raised by readers in the comment area, the author will explain a few words here. The first question is that the protagonist has a system, but he has not reached innate after practicing for 18 years, so he is a bit useless. First of all, the protagonist system can only help him understand the skills, and he still has to rely on himself to practice. The more advanced the technique, the more accumulated knowledge, and the longer it takes. In addition, the protagonist is not a real genius. It is because the system helps the protagonist understand that he appears to be a genius. In Ji Yulong's original novel, Zhang Feng is famous for his looks, not his talent. The real talent of the protagonist is at best considered a hit in the world, and it is definitely incomparable to people like Wa Man Lu, Dong Fang Bubai, and even worse than Morong Fu. Therefore, when Zhang Feng cultivated to the first grade level at the age of 18, one was because he realized the blessing of perfection, and the other was because he had Su Wei and started taking papers since he was a child, so he was not naturally talented. He is a fake genius. The second problem is that the author hints at how scarce grandmasters are. Later, grandmasters are like leaks, cropping up again and again. The author roughly sorted out the number of appearances of grandmaster. There are a total of 12 grandmasters in Qingyi Tower plus Huo Shu. It is mentioned in the book that Qingyi building had a certain background before Huo Shu took over. After Huo Shu took over, he had a country's wealth that had accumulated for thousands of years in his hands. With a thousand years of wealth and decades of training, it wouldn't be too much to train a few grandmasters, right? Secondly, Zhang Yan Salt Transport Envoy, a third grade official, has mastered the huge industry of salt, and has a grandmaster to protect him, which is not much. Thirdly, the governor of Zhang Yan is a second grade official. He controls two provinces and has two grandmasters by his side. This is reasonable, right? Including the following plot. The chief minister of the Song dynasty, a family of officials that has been passed down for hundreds of years, Wang Fu has been the chief minister of the Song dynasty for decades, the largest official in the Song dynasty, and there are a total of seven grandmasters in the family, which should be reasonable. The settings in the book include not only masters in the martial arts world. The only difference between the Jonggu and the imperial court is in form. In essence, whoever has the power and resources can cultivate masters. It's not like a master of martial arts can break into the mansion and pick off the head of an official he doesn't like. In addition, there are four major families in Hangzhou, including the Wang family and the destroyed Zhou family. They are all families that have been inherited for hundreds of years, and they only have one or two grandmasters. The setting of Kaobang is equivalent to a shipping alliance spanning seven countries. Jinling is one of the most important cities in the Song dynasty, so the setting of the helmsman is also a grandmaster. It should be reasonable to secretly cultivate a grandmaster beside him. The Zhang family itself is not a small karami, and the level of forces it comes into contact with is relatively high, so it seems that there are more grandmasters. The author tries his best to match the number of grandmasters between the forces that appear. In addition, this book is not a quick upgrade stream, so the speed of practice is not that fast. There won't be anyone else who will break through to a big realm within a few decades. It is not very logical that the protagonist crosses several major realms in a year. Some readers may not feel comfortable reading this, so the author would like to apologize first. I still hope that the plot will unfold slowly and try to tell a complete story. In addition, to be honest, the author is not very good at writing the kind of super fast-paced, refreshing books, otherwise, it would not be a small street. Please forgive me and make do with it. Grateful. News from the court came, and the matter was finally concluded. There is no need for the Zhang family to participate in future events. Half a month passed. Three days ago, a shocking event happened in Suzhou City. 
the Wong family offended unknown forces and the whole family was destroyed. According to reports, a violent fight broke out at the Wong family residence that night. It wasn't until the next day that someone went to check. The Wong family's mansion was reduced to ruins. Afterwards, the Zhang family sent people to investigate. The owner of the family, Zhang Feng, rushed back from Jinling. With an ugly expression and raging anger, he promised that he would mobilize the power of the Zhang family to find the murderer and let the Wang family rest in peace. In view of the fact that almost all the members of the Wang family died, only a few women who married outside survived. Real estate such as the Wang family property cannot be left uninherited. Zhang Feng summoned several in-laws of the Wang family. After some friendly negotiations, several women from the Wang family divided the ownership of the remaining property based on the influence of their husband's family. The Zhang family had the greatest influence, so naturally they took the biggest piece. Everyone in the family was very happy and praised the Zhang family for their righteousness. Ten days passed after the incident. The murderer was too cunning and all the insiders were killed. The Zhang family mobilized huge energy, but still couldn't find any clues. The matter was settled. In the study room, Zhang Feng held a scripture in his hand, flipped through it and entered it into the system. Since the beginning of taking control of Xingyi Tower, there are countless scriptures harvested, and the most powerful one is undoubtedly the Golden Rock Magic Skill, practiced by Huo Shu, which integrates internal skills, light skills, sword skills, and palm skills. Grandmaster Zhang Feng, who was captured in Jinling during this trip, used chaotic divine liquid to force them to learn the techniques they practiced. The inheritance of the Wang family is better than nothing. Zhang Feng turns on the system. Host. Zhang Feng. Cultivation level. Early stage of innate. Lifespan. 240 years. Kung Fu. Primordial Origin Sutra. Haudian God, Innate God, Grandmaster, God, Great Grandmaster, Heaven. Martial Skills. Primordial Origin Sword Technique Divine Primordial Origin Sword Technique Divine Primordial Origin Step Divine Primordial Origin Palm Divine Auxiliary Profession Poison Alchemist Level 4 With the superposition of thousands of martial arts skills, swords, fists and palms all transformed from heaven level to divine level. Martial arts transformed, and strength once again made a huge leap. As the skills and martial arts reach the divine level, the transformation becomes slower and slower. Regardless of martial arts or martial arts, heaven level to divine level is a huge dividing line. Above the divine level, it is even more out of reach. According to the current transformation progress of a new skill, the level above divine level is far away. The lower level skills can no longer make any progress in the divine level skills. Time passed slowly for a year. This year, Zhang Feng chose the auspicious day of the zodiac and incorporated Cheng Lingsu into the Zhang family. Backyard, Zhang Feng was basking in the sun on the deck chair. Wang Yuyan played the piano and Cheng Lingsu danced the sword. Master, is this strength okay? Azu squeezed his shoulders with a smile. Well, Azu, your methods are getting more and more useless. Zhang Feng squinted his eyes and looked lazy. Everything in the Zhang family is developing smoothly and orderly. He took a break from his busy schedule to enjoy some leisurely time in the backyard. After 20 years of hard work, waking up early and working late every day, I still can't enjoy it. Azu, what has Morong been busy with lately? When they first got married, Wang Yuyan took Azu and Abai to explain Morong Fu's plan to him. Morong Fu asked Azu about the Zhang family from time to time. Azu, with Zhang Feng's permission, conveyed some insignificant news. Master, he hasn't sent any news for a long time, and I don't know what he is doing. At first, Morong Fu came to Yang's house several times and expressed the alliance's demands to Zhang Feng overtly and secretly. He brushed it off. The Zhang family needs to continue to hibernate, and the Morong family has nothing else of value except Shishui Pavilion. There is an unknown Morong Longcheng in the Morong family who may still be alive. Zhang Feng Gong method has reached the bottleneck period and adding another Huan Shi Shui pavilion will not produce a qualitative change. Therefore, the plans for the Morong family were temporarily put aside. Wang Yuyan finished playing the piano. Cheng Lingsu closed the long sword in her hand and praised, Sister Yuyan, you are not only extremely talented in martial Dao, but your piano skills are also top-notch. 
Wang Yuyan has only been practicing for more than a year, and her cultivation has reached the sixth grade level. The talent shocked several ancestors of the Zhang family. Not only the realm, Wang Yuyan can reach the realm in a short time by practicing every martial skill. The well-deserved number one genius of the Zhang family. This made several ancestors of the Zhang family treat her as a treasure. Take turns to take time to mentor Wang Yuyan. Sister Ling Su, you are in the innate realm world, and you still tease me. Your sword dance is so beautiful. Wang Yuyan smoothed her hair from her forehead, her face slightly red. Zhang Feng stretched out. Yu Yan, Ling Su, you two make my husband feel ashamed. Husband, your strength cannot be measured by your realm. Cheng Ling Su rolled his eyes cutely. Both of them are innate, and she can't do anything in Zhang Feng's hands. At first, I thought Zhang Feng was hiding his realm. When she found out that his cultivation level was only at the early stage of innate, she felt numb. Is your husband about to break through? Wang Yuyan asked with a smile. Zhang Feng looked inside his dantian. In recent days, Tru Qi has been unable to increase. The dantian is filled with primordial origin Tru Qi, and he can condense the flower of Qi gathering at any time and break through to the middle stage of innate. Well, we can break through. When the thunder seeds were gathered together, the cultivation base increased dramatically. With the addition of A Luo's plugin, 1 plus 1 was greater than 2, and the cultivation base reached a breakthrough in just over a year. With his true talent, it would take at least 5 years from his first entry into innate to his early peak. Wang Yuyan's expression was both happy and worried. Husband, I heard that the higher the realm, the harder it is to give birth to an heir. It's been more than a year and my stomach still hasn't moved. He and Wang Yuyan were in good health, but if the seeds were scattered, they would not bear fruit. Zhang Feng is also very helpless. Sister Ling Su, are you sure there is nothing wrong with my health? Wang Yuyan held Cheng Ling Su's hands with a worried look on her face. Sister Yuyan, your body is very healthy. Isn't there any movement in my stomach? A blush flashed across Cheng Ling Su's face. Abby looked at Zhang Feng with strange eyes. Girl, what are you looking at? Zhang Feng said angrily. Master, don't you know if I have any questions? Azu and Abai, the two maids who lived together, had long been eaten up and wiped clean. Abby blushed with embarrassment and said nonchalantly, could it be that the head of the house is too strong? Zhang Feng roughly knew the reason, which was related to the primordial origin sutra he practiced. Primordial origin operates automatically all the time, and all the essence produced by the body is absorbed and used to strengthen the body. Only by condensing the flower of essence can you better control your essence. Only then will the real seeds be born. Zhao Qianhao. Yu Yan, don't worry, wait until I condense the flower of essence, and I will ensure that you get what you want. Real, of course it's true. When have I ever lied to you? Zhang Feng laughed. Cheng Lingsu thought thoughtfully. I checked my husband's body before and found that my husband's body strength is different from ordinary people. His essence is not leaking. After condensing the essence flower, he can control the essence independently. Sister Yuyan, what your husband said is true. With the guarantee of the miracle doctors Zhang Feng and Cheng Lingsu, Wang Yuyan put down her worries. Husband, then go practice quickly. Wang Yuyan urged. Oh, I am just a tired person. PFF Tsuna, all the girls smiled. Azu teased. Master, you still want to help the Zhang family. Ha ha, you will be indispensable when the time comes, Azu. Zhang Feng laughed. Master, you are annoying. Azu's face turned red with embarrassment. Beauty Cave, Hero's Tomb, Zhang Feng reluctantly left the backyard. In the middle of a nate, it's time to break through. Quiet room, Zhang Feng retreat place. Aluo, why are you practicing so fast? Aluo still has the face of a little Lolita. Since Beast Core has been repaired, there seems to be no bottleneck in her practice. Her cultivation level is one step away from a nate late stage. Aluo is one of the only ten people, besides Zhang Feng, who is suitable for the Primordial Origin Sutra. Wang Yuyan is extremely talented, and Zhang Feng wants to train her well. Past Primordial Origin to her via post-natal realm. However, although Wang Yuyan is extremely talented, she is still not suitable for the Primordial Origin Classic. So far, the only person close to Zhang Feng, apart from himself, is Aluo. 
but Luo has taken the lead in gathering the flower of qi, and is not far from the flower of essence. Zhang Feng's cultivation speed increased dramatically because he took advantage of Aluo. Her talent is definitely among the top among humans. The speed of cultivation is even faster than that of Wang Yuyan. Master, I don't know either. Aluo looked confused. I run the technique, and the spiritual energy continues to penetrate into the body. Just practice like this, true qi is filled up, and the flower of qi gathering will soon bloom. Is this the chosen one? Zhang Feng burst into tears of envy. Only by comparing with Wang Yuyan and Amang can we understand the gap with real geniuses. A Luo blinked her big black eyes. Master, are you about to break through? Well, we're about to break through. Zhang Feng nodded and smiled. Master, don't worry, break through, A Luo will protect you. Okay, I leave my safety to you. Zhang Feng runs the primordial origin meridian to adjust the body to its optimal state. In the Dantian, the milky white true qi does not contain a trace of impurities, like a thick layer of white clouds covering it. As the technique operates, true qi begins to flow according to extremely mysterious rules. A bolt of thunder sounded from Dantian qi C. The thunder ripped through the Dantian and opened up a very small position in the center of the Dantian. With thunder as the center, true qi gathers towards thunder, gathering more and more. Finally, it seemed that it had reached its limit. Under the condensation of many true qi, drops of liquid slowly formed. The liquid contains extremely majestic energy. A rallying cry sounded in Dantian. With the birth of the first drop of B-calf liquid, the second drop and the third drop. True qi is getting less and less, and the droplets are getting more and more. In the quiet room, a vortex is formed with Zhang Feng as the center. Spiritual energy from all directions began to gather. Looking with the naked eye, a tornado formed by spiritual energy appeared in midair. The movement alarmed several ancestors in the back mountain. Fanger is gathering the flowers of qi gathering. Zhang Zhenshan looked suspicious of life. Brother, when we condensed qi gathering, there wasn't so much movement, right? Zhang Junru suspected that she had gathered fake qi flowers. Breaking through the double flower grandmaster didn't make such a big move. Funger can't look at it with ordinary people's eyes. Have you ever seen the person who suppressed the Grand Master in the early days of innate? Zhang Junlong said leisurely. No matter how big a noise Zhang Feng makes, he won't be surprised. When he lost the fight with Zhang Feng, he surrendered. From then on it became a no-brainer. Zhang Junlong was born in a war hall and his thoughts were simple. If you can fight, you are awesome. My father didn't make such a big fuss at that time, right? A real dragon has appeared in our Zhang family. Zhang Zhenyu's eyes shone. Brother, with Funger's background, it may not be impossible to gather the third flower. Several people's eyes were burning. In their eyes, Zhang Fan was like a god. He has a strong cultivation base and never fails in the world. Several people took Zhang Fan as their example. There is no mediocre person in the second generation of the Zhang family. It's because of the power of Zhang Fan's example. However, a fairy-like figure like Zhang Fan still has not gathered the third flower. This shows the difficulty of Sanhua. If Zhang Feng condenses three flowers, the Zhang family may not be able to take a step further and become the top, transcendent force. Three flowers innate, if nothing unexpected happens, will definitely become the great grandmaster. Even the legendary celestial human realm may not have a chance. The tornado continued over the Zhang family. Zhang Feng's breath was rising steadily. In the Dantian, the last trace of true qi condensed into droplets. There is no trace of true qi in the Dantian, and everything has turned into a more concentrated true qi condensation. At this time, the first step of condensing the flower of qi gathering, true qi gathering liquid, is completed. In the second step, the droplets turn into actual flowers. The liquid flows in the Dantian, relying on the thunder seeds. Slowly, the liquid formed a lotus shape on its own, holding the thunder seeds in the center of the flower. Wisps of thunder and lightning emerged from the thunder seeds and fell on the flowers. A thunder and lightning lotus was formed. Threads of electric arcs flowed irregularly on the flowers. With the disturbance of thunder, the light water vapor on the droplets slowly evaporated. The mist in Dantian is light, and the looming thunder lotus is hidden in the white mist. 
When the water vapor in the chi flower completely evaporates and forms a solid state, your cultivation will reach its midterm peak. In this process, the spiritual energy of heaven and earth will be continuously absorbed to make up for the lack of spiritual energy in the Dantian. About half an hour passed. There was a thunder in Dantian. The diffuse fog was dispersed by the thunder that was like a punishment from heaven. Look at Dantian again. In the center, a crystal clear lotus sits in the center of the Dantian, like a pair of gentle hands holding a thunder bead in the palm of the hand. Like a most exquisite piece of art. At this point, the flower of qi is officially condensed. Zhang Feng circulates the skills. After condensing the flower of qi gathering, the increase in the total amount of true qi is only a trivial benefit. The most important thing is that true qi becomes more condensed. It's as if the previous true qi was a sledgehammer made of foam. Now it is a sharp sword made of King Kong. More powerful, more concentrated, and more penetrating. If he fights against his previous self again, he may be able to defeat him in just a few moves. Zhang Feng is full of confidence. He rushed out of the darkroom with a whoosh. Funger, you're out of seclusion. Zhang Zhenshan's eyes were burning. Well, Grandpa, I want to test my strength. Zhang Feng wants to compete with the real double flower grandmaster at the peak to test his strength. Before, Zhang Feng wanted to play against his grandfather, but was rejected. Zhang Zhenshan smiled and nodded. It's almost done now. Grandpa will practice with you. The two of them arrived at the martial arts arena as quickly as possible and dispersed the others, leaving only a few ancestors of the Zhang family present. Funger, take action. Zhang Zhenshan laughed. Good. He has always been unable to see through the old man's strength. Logically speaking, he had killed more than one grandmaster at his peak, so he had always been curious about the old man's strength. Zhang Feng was not sure of the limit of his strength, so he did not use the full calendar at the beginning of the day. 50%, 60%, 70%, all the way up to 10% of success, except for not using the primordial origin martial skill, it can be considered as full firepower. Unexpectedly, Zhang Zhenshan was still able to do it with ease. This shocked Zhang Feng, even doubt life, could it be that the peak grandmaster I killed before was fake? With his current strength, he will face an opponent like Feng Ying again. Even without using primordial origin martial arts, the opponent can be defeated within 10 moves. After the two touched each other, they separated on both sides. Zhang Feng asked curiously, Grandpa, how much strength did you use? Zhang Zhenshan thought about it for a moment, Funger, your strength is roughly equivalent to what it was before you practiced the Nine Yang Manual. I didn't fight you before because I was afraid that it would damage your confidence to move forward. Grandpa, am I so fragile? Zhang Feng curled his lips. Ha ha, that's the best thing you can think of. With innate's midterm strength, it's comparable to an ordinary double flower grandmaster. It's very rare. At least Grandpa hasn't heard of anyone else who can do it besides you. Zhang Feng accepted the result. He wasn't the only one getting stronger. Several grandfathers switched to heaven-level exercises, and their strength also experienced earth-shaking changes. At that time, he was able to defeat the third grandfather Zhang Junlong. One is that Zhang Junlong is only a single grandmaster, and he has not yet reached the peak of grandmaster. He only practices the earth-level skills inherited by the Zhang family. Now, if the two of them fight again, it's really hard to say whether they will win or lose. There were only two peak grandmasters he faced head-on. One is the thousand-faced poison demon, although the thousand-faced poison demon is the peak grandmaster. However, the thousand faces poison sutra is famous for its disguise and poisoning, and is actually not good at frontal combat. He also obtained the technique that Feng Ying practiced, but it was just a profound level grandmaster technique. The only skill the case cage has at his disposal is the earth level grandmaster martial skill, the case cage sword. His artistic conception of wind was restrained by the artistic conception of primordial origin, and his strength was greatly reduced. He had slightly overestimated his true strength before. Divine level exercises are not omnipotent. There are definitely many geniuses from various sects in the world who practice heaven level techniques. The Zhang families, Nine Yang Manual, is a Buddhist gate method. Xiao Wushang Gong, and Biming Shen Gong, are Taoist exercises. From this alone, how strong are Buddhist gate and Taoist gate? 
Zhang Feng knew very well that there was still a certain gap in hard power between him and the double flower grandmaster who practiced heaven level techniques. Of course, there is a fight between life and death. Use the primordial origin skill to unleash full firepower, and it's hard to say who will win. It's right to be low key. After figuring out his own strength, Zhang Feng's slightly bloated heart calmed down a lot. Zhang Zhenshin looked pleased. Funger, Grandpa is very pleased that you can neither be arrogant nor impetuous. The only thing missing from you is time. Grandpa believes that given you time, you will definitely become the top player in the world. Grandpa, don't worry, I'm not that fragile. Zhang Feng looked helpless. He was not on the invincible path, and he did not have a heart of glass. That's good. Zhang Zhenshin smiled and said, Your uncle broke through the Grandmaster realm. Yesterday, your grandpa sent an invitation letter. In seven days, the Grandmaster ceremony will be held. You can set off with me tomorrow. Uncle has broken through Grandmaster. Zhang Feng was in retreat yesterday and didn't know about it. He remembered that his uncle's previous cultivation was in the middle stage of innate, and he frowned and said, Uncle didn't break through the double flower. It's not that easy. Your uncle has tried many times, but there is still a long way to go before getting a double flower. In desperation, he just broke through to Grandmaster. Zhang Zhenshin looked sad. Zhang Feng shook his head. He was in a special situation and it was difficult for him to resonate with ordinary people when it came to cultivation. Early the next morning, two carriages slowly drove out from Yang's house. This time I went to Wahia to watch the ceremony. Except for Zhang Zhenshin, the face of the Zhang family, and Zhang Feng, the head of the family. A total of five people including his father Zhang Cheng, mother Hua Jiayu and Wang Yuyan went there. Since there were two female dependents and the journey was difficult, two carriages were arranged. So, we set off a week in advance. This time, Zhang Feng brought a special gift. I think Wamanlu will be very happy. The uncle Hua ruling is a heroic and righteous man, has a high reputation in the world, and has an excellent reputation in Weizhou. This Grandmaster ceremony is very large. Grandmaster is the foundation of a force. Normally, when a Grandmaster is broken through, the forces will make a big fanfare and invite colleagues from all over the world to come and watch the ceremony. With great momentum. Of course, there are also low-key people who will not announce anything to the public. At first, only Zhang Zhenshin and Zhang Junlong of the Zhang family had broken through to Grandmaster, and they invited fellow Zhanggu people to attend the ceremony. The other few people did not make any big announcement to the outside world. As a result, people in the world only know that there are two grandmasters in the Zhang family. Four days later, Luzhou City, on the carriage, Wang Yuyan curiously opened the curtain and looked at the lively scene in Luzhou City. Weizhou is close to Zhangzhou, and Luzhou is the capital of Weizhou. Although commerce is not as developed as Suzhou, it is far better than that of other cities. The people on the streets are full of energy and live and work in peace and contentment. Pedestrians on the road saw a luxury carriage driving on the road. Stay away from it. Walking through the lively streets, we came to a place in the east of the city where peach blossoms were in full bloom. Peach Blossom Castle, one of the industries of the Wa family, Wa ruling is not only the head of the Wa family, but also the head of Peach Blossom Castle. Peach Blossom Castle covers a large area. The entire Peach Blossom Castle is surrounded by dense peach trees. At this time, it is spring. The peach blossoms are in full bloom in the garden, and the pale pink flowers are vying to bloom on the branches. The fragrance of peach blossoms fills the air. So beautiful, Wang Yuyan stepped out of the carriage with her veil on. Catch the fallen flowers with your hands, with a happy smile on your face. In Peach Blossom Castle, many people from the world came early. People gathered together in twos and threes to enjoy the beautiful scenery of Peach Blossom Castle. As soon as they arrived at the door, Grandpa Hua Junshin came out to welcome him, In-laws, you are here. Zhang Junshin cupped his hands and congratulated, In-laws, congratulations to the Hua family for adding a grandmaster. Zhang Feng greeted his grandfather and walked to the yard where he had set up a long time ago. Grandpa, what are the flowers? Entering Peach Blossom Castle, I didn't see Wamanlu. A few of his friends have come over. The servants have gone to notify them and they will be here soon. Hua Junshin just finished speaking. Wamanlu took the two of them to the courtyard. Zhang Feng took a closer look. 
one of them has two mustaches, neatly cultivated, just like his eyebrows. The other one was wearing white clothes, with a stern face, quite lonely, and his whole person was like an unsheathed sword. Xiao Feng, let me introduce two friends to you. Hua Manlu's voice sounded. Zhang Feng laughed. Let me guess. The one with four eyebrows should be Lu Zhaofeng. The other one is covered in sword intent. If you guess correctly, he should be the sword god Exumin Kueshui. Hua Manlu was stunned. Xiao Feng, you can guess this. Lu Zhaofeng looked at Zhang Feng with curiosity and exclaimed, No wonder it is said in the world that no one can stop Zhang Feng from smiling. In the past, I only thought it was an exaggeration, but now it seems that it is still a conservative. This is the first time I've met someone more handsome than me. Come on, you should surpass Exumin Kueshui first. Hua Manlu didn't save any face. Exumin Kueshui had a stern look on his face and said, I don't dare to be a sword god, people in the world just randomly give me names. Exumin Kueshui is about in her early twenties, her cultivation has reached the peak of innate late stage and her talent is truly terrifying. If it weren't for trying to gather the third flower, I'm afraid I could break through the Grandmaster realm at any time. This is the real genius. Zhang Feng sighed inwardly, shook his head and said, It's just a wrong name, how can there be a wrong reputation? Exumin Kueshui is extremely talented, and Sword Dao is superb. It is no exaggeration to call him a god among swordsmen of his generation. There are only a few people who can compare with him. I feel a strong sword intent in you. I suppress my cultivation. How about a fight between you and me? Exumin Kueshui's eyes were burning. He vaguely felt the sword intent from Zhang Feng, who was no weaker than him. When he met his fellow Sword Dao people, Exumin Kueshui had the urge to fight. He is a true swordsman. A swordsman who can give up everything for the sword. Lu Zhaofeng's eyes were surprised, he knew Exumin Kueshui best. Most people, Exumin Kueshui would not want to say much. Ordinary people, Exumin Kueshui would not draw his sword. Zhang Feng's strength must not be simple. I'm here as a guest today, let's talk about it later. Zhang Feng shook his head. He was not interested in fighting Exumin Kueshui. He is not a swordsman. Nor is he as loyal to Sword Dao as Exumin Kueshui. For him, as long as the weapon is easy to use, there is no difference between swords and swords, they are all extensions of strength. Exumin Kueshui looked regretful and couldn't force it. Okay, you sword madman, you want to spar when you see a swordsman. Lu Zhaofeng smiled at Zhang Feng. That's just the kind of person he is. Brother Zhang, don't mind. Zhang Feng looked unconcerned. I know Exumin Kueshui is a real swordsman, but unfortunately I am not, the sword is just my weapon. In order to dispel Exumin Kueshui's thoughts, Zhang Feng told the truth. Exumin Kueshui regarded him as a real swordsman before meeting Lai Xingxi. I'm not a swordsman anymore, you'd better find someone else. Exumin Kueshui was stunned. He was not a swordsman, but he actually developed an unfathomable sword intent, which really surprised him. He did not doubt Zhang Feng's words. A true swordsman would rather die than deny his own way. Okay, today I'm mainly going to introduce you to each other and make friends. Hua Man Lu changed the topic. Zhang Feng had a good impression of both Lu Zhaofeng and Exumin Kueshui. Lu Zhaofeng has a lively personality and a sense of justice. Exumin Kueshui is also a pure person. Zhang Feng said, Wawa, I brought a gift specially for you. Yeah, Waman Lu looked quite interested. Let Zhang Feng tell me specifically what kind of gift it is. Zhang Feng didn't show off and clapped his hands twice. Two guards walked in, holding down a man wearing a hood. Waman Lu looked confused and confused. You'll know when you take off your hood. Zhang Feng stretched out his hand to signal. Lu Zhaofeng was eager to try. Wawa, if you don't want to uncover it, I will uncover it for you. I'll do it myself. Waman Lu quickly stopped. Zhao Feng brought a specially brought gift, but he wanted to see what it was. With doubts, Waman Lu approached the people on the ground. I smelled a familiar scent. The whole person was stunned as if he had been struck by lightning. Tremblingly, he took off his hood and groped this person's face for a while. He knew this face even when it turned into ashes. Back then, the Wa family killed the Iron Shoe Bandit, and a voice from the dark told him that the Iron Shoe Bandit was not dead. Until the person in front of me. Good, it's him. 
The shackles in Wa Manlu's heart were opened, and she couldn't help but burst into tears. Wawa, what's wrong? Lu Zhaofeng discovered something was wrong with Wa Manlu. When Wa Junshan saw that man's face, he felt a little familiar. His eyes narrowed, Funger, this, is this an iron shoe thief? Yes, the iron shoe thieves are twin brothers. Zhang Feng nodded. After getting the news from the secret guard, the iron shoe thief was hiding in Qingyi building. Maybe it's a landlord of Xingyi building. Zhang Junchen checked all the landlords and found no trace of the iron shoe thief. After that, the scope will be spread to the entire Qingyi building. Until half a month ago, in the mission hall of a branch building, the iron shoe thief who had been hiding for many years was found. Xiao Feng, thank you. Hua Manlu wiped away the tears on her face with a smile. Lu Zhaofeng and Examin Kuishui finally knew the identity of the person in front of them. Examin Kuishui had a cold murderous intent on his face. If it's not bad, I'll do it for you. He wanted to cut the person in front of him into pieces. He doesn't have many friends. Lu Zhaofeng and Hua Manlu are the only friends he recognizes. He is a cold-blooded person, and once he recognizes someone, he can have a life and death relationship with him. The faint smile disappeared from Lu Zhaofeng's face. Hua Manlu lost her light since she was a child. God knows how he could still develop the character he has now. Kill me, please kill me. The iron shoe thief looked horrified. The person in front of him was the little boy who opened his eyes back then. He knew it was a dead end. I just want a good time. But now, all the meridians in his body are blocked, and he can't even commit suicide. War ruling came after hearing the news. Seeing the figure on the ground, a feeling of anger filled his whole body. Okay, okay, it turns out they are twin brothers. War ruling laughed angrily, and then she was convinced that she had been tricked. No wonder Lao Chi said that the iron shoe thief was not dead. He only thought that after Lao Chi passed this incident, he felt a shadow in his heart. PFF. Hua Manlu pointed at the iron shoe thief's forehead. The iron shoe thief had a satisfied smile on his face and died without any pain. Lao Chi, he is too cheap. Hua Ruling is very worried about what happened back then. According to his wishes, it would not be an exaggeration to cut him into pieces with a thousand cuts and quarter them with five horses. Hua Manlu said with a relieved smile, it's all over. I can't see clearly, but it's not without some benefit. At least one pair of ears has been trained, and apart from being invisible, they are no different from ordinary people. War ruling looked distressed. Lao Chi had to suffer a lot in order to live like an ordinary person. It took a lot of stumbling to get to where I am today. Uncle, Wawa kills the iron shoe thief with one finger. This is a good thing. Zhang Feng saw this scene in his eyes, it shows that Wawa has really let go. The flowers are astonishing. Hua Manlu was in a very happy mood, Xiao Feng, you understand what I'm thinking. Let him pass as he has passed. My eyes cannot see. It is an inspiration to me. It inspires me to climb to the peak of Marshall Dao. Everyone was in awe. Hua Manlu actually has such ambitions. Only heavenly beings can take reincarnation. Breaking through the celestial human realm can repair both eyes. Zhang Feng also didn't expect that Hua Manlu had such a plan in mind. Waman Lu's eyes may not need his intervention in the future. He has a certain amount of luck, and it is not impossible to reach the celestial human realm in the future. If he takes action, it will even disrupt the expected trajectory. This may be God's test for Son of Fortune. Ever since I heard about Son of Fortune, Zhang Feng has some guesses about many things. Not many of the protagonists go smoothly. Yang Guo broke his arm, but later developed more advanced martial arts. Zhang Wuji's parents died due to the great accomplishment of Yang Junjing. Li Zunwan's wife was robbed, and Xiao Li was superb at flying daggers. Now Hua Manlu is blind. The upper limit of this world is larger than before. These people are destined to have a higher ceiling than before. Zhang Feng is looking forward to it. It would be a bit boring to have only one person standing at the top. Three days later, the Grand Master Ceremony is held as scheduled. The Hua family's status in Weizhou is similar to the Zhang family's status in Zhangzhou. High status and good reputation. All kinds of Zhanggu comrades in Weizhou were very considerate, and all the famous forces sent people to watch the ceremony. The guests who came presented the prepared gifts one after another. 
Prince Pingyan's palace presented ten bottles of spirit-gathering elixir. The Zhang family in Suzhou presented ten strains of century-old spirit medicine and one piece of grandmaster-level martial arts. Chai Jiabao presented a jade jade. Yes, the ginseng picker will give you a piece of centennial ginseng. War Ruling's face glowed brightly. She stood on the high platform and thanked the gift. Thank you to all my colleagues in the world for coming to support me. Accidents always come so suddenly. Before War Ruling could finish speaking, two figures passed by holding a man with blood on his face and blood holes in his eyes. When the guests who came saw this man's miserable state, they were shocked and confused for a moment. When Wa Ruling saw the injured man, her heart skipped a beat. He cupped his hands and said to the audience, I'm sorry. Enjoy your meal and drink. Wa Ruling came to the injured man's side and had a bad guess in her mind, what happened? The blind man heard Wa Ruling's voice and said with a cry, Master, the escort money has been robbed. Except for me, all the other brothers are dead. Wa Ruling clenched her fists and her face was as cold as ice. The two major industries of the Wa family are real estate and the other is the escort agency. Under its name is the largest escort agency in Weizhou, Junyuan Escort Agency. The injured man was none other than Lu Futong, the chief escort of the Junyuan Escort Bureau. A few days ago, the imperial court commissioned the Junyuan Escort Bureau to escort a batch of 800,000 tails of taxable silver to Tokyo. The Junyuan Escort Agency went out with all its strength. Lu Futong, the chief escort who was at the peak of Innate's midterm, personally took action, plus four masters of Innate's early stage. I thought it was foolproof, but I didn't expect that someone was trying to steal tax money. The people at the banquet ignored the meal and gathered around. After Zhang Feng learned what happened, he was speechless. Does the imperial tax money have a grudge against anyone? Jinling's tax money was intercepted, and just one year later, Weizhou's tax money was intercepted again. Two things, are they related to him? Could I be son of fortune? Zhang Feng doubts life, wherever he goes, something will happen. He made an impromptu decision. From now on, if you have nothing to do, visit your relatives less frequently. Everyone is a son of fortune. If things are not going well now, it means that Father Earth is testing you. There was a lot of discussion among people in the world. If this matter is not resolved, it will be a huge blow to the Wa family and the reputation of Junyuan Escort Agency. Did that person leave any traces? Wa Ruling said in a deep voice. The embroidery thief, is the embroidery thief. Lu Fu Spirit Ascension looked horrified. 14. There was an uproar all around. The embroidery thief has become famous in Lujo in recent months. This person commits crimes very frequently. In just a few months, 60 or 70 major cases were committed. Each time a case was committed, one person would be left alive and blinded. After each crime, he would leave a piece of silk embroidered with black peonies, so he was called the embroidery thief. The recent crimes include Wa Yuxuan's priceless calligraphy and paintings, a batch of red goods from Jundong Fort, and 90,000 tails of gold leaves from Jinsha River. The most well-known incident is the theft of Prince Pingyan's palace last month. Zhang Chongwei, the general manager of the palace, was stabbed in the eye and the 18 dendrobium pearls collected by Prince Pingyan were stolen. In order to save face, Prince Pingyan sent out a large number of people to search for him, but in the end the shadow was not found. Are you sure you are the embroidery thief? A middle-aged man with a majestic face and wearing a python robe had an ashen complexion. This person is none other than King Pingyan. King Pingyan entrusted the city to the city, which was very close to Luzhou. Luzhou was prosperous, and King Pingyan lived in Luzhou for a long time. This time, King Pingyan was invited to the Wahia Grand Master Ceremony. The incident of the embroidery robber caused a huge loss of face to Prince Pingyan. The theft of treasure was a trivial matter, but provoking the prince was something he couldn't bear. Lu Futong took out a piece of white silk from his arms, embroidered with blood-stained black peonies. He is indeed the embroidery thief. King Pingyan shrank his eyes, and he knew at a glance that the silk was left behind by the embroidery thief. Lu Zhaofang's eyes lit up. He has no other hobbies. What I like to do most is to investigate difficult cases. This visit to Luzhou to congratulate Wa Ruling is one of them. In addition, he heard about the embroidery robbery in Luzhou. I was preparing to start searching after attending the banquet. Uncle, 
how about leaving this matter to me to investigate? The Wa family has a huge influence in Lujo. If you want to facilitate the investigation of the case, it is best to have the Wa family to help. Dad, Zhao Feng is very good at investigating cases, leave this case to us. Wa Manlu helped. I don't doubt Zhao Feng's ability to handle cases, but I'm worried that the embroidery thief is very powerful. Wa Ruling expressed her worries. Uncle, with my Qinggong skills, I can't win or run away. Lu Zhaofeng's Qinggong is called Feng Wu Judian. It is an extremely advanced Qinggong body method. It is very fast and Grandmaster cannot easily catch up. Count me in. Zhang Feng took the initiative to speak. No matter how the world changes, things in the original trajectory still happen. Zhang Feng knew the identity of the embroidery thief. He not only focused on the embroidery thief, but also on the treasures he intercepted during this period. The treasure that was delivered to your door, why don't you? Okay, I'll say hello to the Yaman. War ruling said it is a matter of course, the Yaman would still give her this little face. If you encounter any obstacles and cannot solve the problem, you can come to me and I will solve it for you. King Pingyan sounded proud. Weizhou, Luzhou City, Six Doors Headquarters. The Six Gates was an organization organized by the Song Dynasty court to arrest illegal people. There are total head catchers, gold medal head catchers, silver medal head catchers and bronze medal head catchers. Rumor has it that the chief catcher of the Six Doors is the Great Grand Master. The Great Grand Master is generally only used as a deterrent and will not intervene unless it is an earth-shaking event. What really keeps things going is the gold medal catcher in the door. At this time, Jin Juling, the six-door gold medal catcher, was discussing matters with his confidants in the study. Jin Juling was a man with excellent talent and was a lay disciple of the famous master Bald Melon in Shaolin during the Song Dynasty. Joined the six sects, started as a bronze head catcher, made many contributions, and his cultivation soared all the way, and was promoted to a gold medal head catcher, taking charge of everything in the six sects of Weizhou. Sir, Pingyan Prince's palace and the Wa family sent people to say hello. Lu Zhaofeng and others will come to check the case of the embroidery thief. The speaker is Lu Xiaohua, a six-door silver medal bald eagle hunter. HMPH, Pingyan Prince's palace and the Wa family are so proud. Jin Juling snorted coldly, feeling quite unhappy. King Pingyan does not hold real power, and the six gates operate independently. Jin Juling didn't take King Pingyan seriously. On the other hand, there are several grandmasters in the Wa family, and in his heart, they are not more important than King Pingyan. Sir, the six gates in Weizhou cannot do without the support of Jonggu forces like the Wa family. The impact of the embroidery bandit case is too bad. Although King Pingyan is not in power, if this matter is brought to the Qin court, it will be quite troublesome for you. Liu Xiaohua reminded me kindly. It is the responsibility of the six doors to arrest the illegal gangsters. If the embroidery thief only touched people in the Jonggu, six doors would not pay much attention. The problem is that the embroidery thief stole Prince Pingyan's palace and crossed the line. This matter is a matter within the scope of the six doors. Jin Juling tapped her fingers on the table. Every time he commits a crime, he acts alone, without his subordinates knowing it. People know that he is the notorious embroidery thief, and the six gates will be the first to come out to clean up the house. Since my first case, he is getting bolder and bolder, always looking for some challenges. He couldn't help but reach out to the big fat sheep, King Pingyan. In addition, he is a six-door gold medal catcher, so the progress of the case is under control. Unexpectedly, outsiders were attracted. In the afternoon, Zhang Feng and others came to Liamen. Jin Juling warmly received Zhang Feng and his party. This is the famous Lu Zhaofeng with four eyebrows. Lu Zhaofeng's appearance was very recognizable, and Jin Juling laughed. Then, he looked around at Zhang Feng, Eximin Kuishui and Wa Manlu. His eyes shrank, he was so young, but all of them were in the innate realm. Master Jin must know our purpose of coming. Lu Zhaofeng got straight to the point. Jin Juling is a gold medal catcher, and his cultivation has reached the level of Grand Master. Jin Juling's face was full of boldness and enthusiasm, if you need the cooperation of this chief, you can just ask, I will tell you everything I know. Zhang Feng was also looking at Jin Juling. The clothes are of high quality and exquisite workmanship. 
The jade ring on her hand is emerald green, without a trace of color, and is worth thousands of gold. Even the folding fan that comes with me is made of heavenly silk that is impervious to water and fire. The rumors that this person likes to have fun are really true. Jin Juling looked at Zhang Feng. He roughly guessed the identities of Wa Manlu and Exumin Kuishui. Only Zhang Feng had never found the corresponding person in his heart and asked, Who is this little brother? Zhang Feng is under 20 years old. Jin Juling is in his early 50s, and he is in the Grand Master Realm world, so calling him, little brother, is very polite. Zhang Feng, you are polite. It turns out to be the head of the Zhang family in Suzhou. How disrespectful. Jin Juling cupped his hands and smiled. He has heard of Zhang Feng's name, but has never met him. After a few people chatted for a while, Lu Zhaofeng said, I wonder if your excellency could give me the case file of the embroidery thief for me to take a look at. Certainly, I have also heard of your reputation as Lu Zhaofeng in solving cases in Luzhou. This matter is my sixth door's business. I'm so ashamed. Jin Juling shook his head in shame, and said to the side, Xiaohua, bring all the embroidery thief's case files and show them to the brothers. Yes, because of people. Lu Xiaohua came back from the case file room with a large pile of case files in his hand and placed them on the table. Everyone, please feel free to do so. Jin Juling extended his hand to invite him. Good work. Lu Zhaofeng cupped her hands and thanked her, then took the case file on the table and started to look through it. The others didn't move. The floor is full of flowers and cannot be seen. Exumin Kuishui was not interested in solving the case. Zhang Feng knew who the embroidery thief was. This case file had passed through the hands of the embroidery thief and was basically worthless. Jin Juling looked at the three of them in surprise, how many of you don't want to take a look? Zhang Feng shook his head and said with a smile, I'm not good at investigating cases. It's enough for Zhao Feng to take action. We're just here to help. Hearing what Zhang Feng said, Jin Juling felt relieved. These young men were probably in a fit of passion and wanted to catch the embroidery thief. Just deal with Lu Zhaofeng. Lu Zhaofeng looked at the case file for a long time, but did not find any valuable clues. Sir, apart from leaving a piece of satin and a figure behind, does the embroidery thief have no other clues? Lu Zhaofeng frowned slightly. The embroidery thief has committed dozens of crimes too clean. Yes, this is the scary thing about the embroidery thief. Jin Juling slowly recalled. According to the victim, the embroidered robber was dressed in a red robe, leaving only a back figure. We can't tell whether he is a man or a woman. Based on these clues, we have some speculations, but there is no evidence for this kind of thing. It's easy to offend people if you say it. Lu Zhaofeng put down the case file in her hand, clapped her hands, and stared at Jin Juling, I'm not a talkative person, so there's no harm in Mr. Jin's guessing. Jin Juling shook his head slightly, but did not express his guess. He guided. There are masters in the world who are good at using needles and like people wearing red robes. If we eliminate them one by one, we may be able to find some clues. Lu Zhaofeng frowned for a moment and then shook her head. When you said that, I was thinking of someone, but this was too far away. Xiao Feng, who are you talking about? Hua Manlu asked curiously. Eastern Invincible, Lu Zhaofeng said in a deep voice. Zhang Feng was dumbfounded, why did this matter involve Dong Feng Bubai? Dong Feng Bubai is the leader of the Sun and Moon sect. The Sun and Moon sect is within the territory of the Ming dynasty. Logically speaking, they would not go to the Song dynasty to commit crimes. Besides, the traces left behind are too obvious. Wearing a red robe and a master with needles, it is easy to push Dong Feng Bubai to be upright. Zhang Feng directly overturned this invalid speculation and said, Li Laos, I know Dong Feng Bubai, and our relationship is not bad. Dong Feng Bubai's character is not like the rumors in the world. I can guarantee that this matter must have nothing to do with her. Quote, Lu Zhaofeng didn't expect Zhang Feng to know Dong Feng Bubai. I believe Zhao Feng's words, the person who can make friends with him must not be the embroidery thief. Wang Lu believes in Zhang Feng unconditionally. So, I said, it's not easy to talk nonsense without evidence, it's easy to offend people. Juling looked innocent. After some discussion, I couldn't find a clue to buy it. Lu Zhaofeng did not think that Dong Feng Bubai was responsible for this matter, and felt that the matter was quite difficult. Go to Prince Pingyan's mansion and have a look. 
The other people naturally had no objections. The group arrived at Prince Pingyan's mansion. Prince Pingyan met with several people. Zhang Feng glanced at Prince Pingyan casually, then focused on the other person next to him. This man is about 20 years old, with piercing eyes like cold stars. He wears a sandalwood beaded crown and is dressed in white clothes. He looks like a flying fairy descending from the white clouds in the sky. Suddenly, the two soaring sword intents faced each other tit for tat, and the surrounding airflow was like a knife edge cutting surface. Prince Pingyan's face turned pale, and he was forced back a few steps by the two opposing sword intents. Two shares of sword intent, close at the touch of a button. Is this a destined meeting? Two sword intents come from Examen Kuei and Yi Gu Cheng. With similar temperaments and being swordsmen, the two of them noticed each other's extraordinary qualities as soon as they met. With a clear understanding, I couldn't help but test it out. Who is this? Lu Zhaofeng moved her steps and secretly stood in front of the two of them. Except for Examen Kuei this was the second person who felt the pure sword intent. Prince Pingyan regained his composure and laughed. This is Yi Gucheng, the lord of Beiyun City on Faixian Island in the South Sea, and he is also the master that my prince recently worshipped. Last month, an embroidery robber occurred in Prince Pingyan's palace. King Pingyan learned the hard way that no matter how strong the external force was, it was not as strong as his own. I heard that on Faixian Island in the South Sea, Yi Gucheng, the lord of Beiyun City, has unparalleled swordsmanship. King Pingyan presented a gift that Yi Gucheng could not refuse. Only then did the prince become a disciple of Yi Gucheng. Sword Saint Yi Gucheng, Examen Kuei cold voice sounded. Beiyun City is far away overseas, and the name of Yi Gucheng Sword Master has spread throughout the Central Plains. Sword God Examen Kuei, Yi Gucheng came to the Central Plains and had a certain understanding of swordsmen of the same age. Examen Kuei's identity was quickly deduced. A fight between you and me. Examen Kuei's eyes were burning. Not the right time yet. Yi Gucheng shook his head and refused. When you and I sword Dao are no longer invincible, it will be time for a battle. Examen Kuei's strength is not inferior to him. In a battle between swordsmen of equal strength, there is no way to hold back. It would be of no use to sword Dao if the two of them fought too early. Examen Kuei understood Yi Gucheng's thoughts. I'm waiting for that day to come. Lu Zhaofeng breathed a sigh of relief. Examen Kuei is a sword fanatic. When he encounters an opponent of equal strength, he will definitely invite a fight. Once there is a fight, it is a battle of life and death. Between the two of them, it's hard to say who will live and who will die. As Examen Kuei's best friend, he didn't want to see this scene. After a few words of greeting, Lu Zhaofeng explained the purpose of his visit, and Prince Pingyan led a few people to the palace treasury. The scene of the crime was still as it was when it was stolen. Silver ingots were scattered on the ground one by one. These silver ingots are just the least valuable things in the treasure house. While inspecting the crime scene, Lu Zhaofeng asked Zhang Chongwei, the palace manager who was blinded that day. That day, I heard something moving inside the treasure house. I thought a rat had entered, so I opened the door to the treasure house. Zhang Chongwei was still frightened and recalled. Unexpectedly, after opening the door, I saw a figure in red with his back to me, seemingly doing embroidery. Before I could say anything, two silver needles flew towards me, and then I couldn't see anything anymore. The man blinded my eyes and sealed my acupuncture points. He didn't kill me. He took the treasure and left. My cultivation has reached its peak in the middle stage of innate. In addition, I have also practiced body refining. Even if it is a double innate, I will not be able to fight back. This person must be a strong grandmaster, or a strong grandmaster who is not weak. Lu Zhaofeng touched her chin. As the general manager of the palace, Zhang Chongwei is not a fool. His speculation has certain reference value. As far as he knew, Dongfang Bubai had not broken through grandmaster, and Dongfang Bubai might not necessarily leave Zhang Chongwei powerless to fight back. This man blinded Zhang Chongwei's eyes and was able to stay in the treasure house for a while without any hurry. It shows that Yin Xin did not take the strength of Pingyan Palace to heart. After all, King Pingyan is a prince, and there is still a Grand Master in the palace. How many treasures did that person take away? Lu Zhaofeng looked at the silver ingots scattered on the ground. In addition to the most precious 18 dendrobium pearls, 
there are also a pair of jade unicorns, a bottle of innate pill, and a set of inner armor made of sky silk. The embroidery thief stole all valuables. The gold and silver were not touched. He did not have a storage ring. Lu Zhaofeng asked detailed questions one by one, while the others listened. Zhang Feng and others stood on the outside. I feel that your sword intent is no weaker than mine. Yi Gucheng looked at Zhang Feng and took the initiative to speak. He did not expect that when he first arrived in the Song Dynasty, he would meet two people who were not inferior to him. The land of the Central Plains is indeed filled with outstanding people in places that cannot be compared with other countries. I'm not a swordsman, Zhang Feng shrugged. I know. Yi Gucheng still looked cold and arrogant. Your sword intent is stronger than many swordsmen. Zhang Feng shook his head and laughed. You two are a sword god and a sword sage. You are the opponent of Ku Ay. There was a slight fluctuation on Yi Gucheng's face, it's enough for ordinary people to give me the name of Sword Saint. You are laughing at me by calling me Sword Saint, BCAH. The name was given by people in the world. Zhang Feng was also given the title of Jade Man by the world, making him unable to complain. Being able to leave a name in the world means that you have a place in the world, and many people can't even ask for it. Fortunately for Zhang Feng, his name was abbreviated, not jade-faced man, which sounded like a flower picker. Otherwise, he will use his sword to tell others not to shout their names randomly. I'm not laughing at you. Zhang Feng asked with a gossipy look on his face. There is more than one person with the title of sword god and sword saint in the world. I am curious, will you fight over the title? Eximin Kueishui is the sword god. Xie Zhaofeng is about the same age and is also called the sword god. Yi Gucheng is the sword saint, and Yan Shisen is also called the sword saint. There is a dispute between the sword god and the sword master. I wonder if two sword gods or two sword masters would fight over the title if they met. The two of them were stunned. They didn't take the name to heart. But once someone has the same name as him or is a peer of about the same age, it is inevitable to differentiate between them. Different ages and cultivation levels are easier to say. Each generation has a sword god, and one sword master is not too much. How can it be that there are two people of the same generation with the same name? Doesn't this force them to go to war? Zhang Feng shook his head, your name is not easy to bear. It's not like my name of Yulong. If anyone is dissatisfied, they can compete with each other to see who is more handsome. Isn't this very harmonious? Xiao Feng, no one can compete with you for your title. Hua Manlu shook his head and laughed. When Zhang Feng was a child, he had a pretty face, and all the other girls of the same age liked to follow him around. He really relied on his reputation to make a living. Yi Gucheng and Eximin Kueishui were speechless, and while they were chatting, the building tilted. There has to be a fight. Yi Gucheng said with a pretentious look. Eximin Kueishui nodded. They don't care about their names, but they don't want others to have the same names as themselves. It's so shabby. I think the people in this world have bad intentions. They know that two people of the same age who have the same name can easily lead to fights, let alone the top names like Sword God and Sword Master. I don't know who came up with this name, of. Zhang Feng had never thought about these issues before, until he suddenly felt that something was wrong. Yi Gucheng and Eximin Kueishui were thoughtful. Just because they are dedicated to Sword Dao does not mean that they are stupid and willing to be used as a weapon. It was as if someone wanted these young swordsmen to fight to the death and differentiate themselves. Yi Gucheng's face turned cold, humph. When I find out who is doing the evil things behind my back, I will kill him with the sword. Although Eximin Kueishui didn't speak, his face showed the same meaning. Xiao Feng, what you said is so scary when you think about it. Hua Man Lu has a taste. How many people in the world fight for a title every year and fight to the death? In the past, I didn't feel that this statement seemed to have a sense of conspiracy. Zhang Feng laughed, I just said casually, I can't guarantee whether the truth of the matter is like this. His words made Eximin Kueishui and Yi Gucheng less interested in competing, and suddenly felt a sense of dullness. Sword Dao, mixed with other things. Make them feel. Dirty. Lu Zhaofeng asked clearly about the reasons why the palace was stolen. A few people chatted on the sidelines and heard about everything. Guys, this is what happened. Do you have any thoughts? Lu Zhaofeng asked. He didn't have much hope. Waman Lu is invisible, 
and Yi Guchang and Eximin Kuishui are not interested in anything except swords. Zhang Feng seems to be here to join in the fun. Just asking in passing, what if it opens his mind? Sure enough, the two swordsmen remained silent. Xiao Feng, you have been smart since you were young, have you noticed anything? Hua Manlu asked Zhang Feng. Lu Zhaofeng was a little surprised. Hua Manlu could not see her eyes, but she had a clear mind since she was a child and could see people very accurately. Zhang Feng also wanted to resolve this matter as soon as possible. At that time, he was a detective mystery. In any case, if you peel off the details, you will always find clues. So, he said, just when manager Zhang said that he heard the noise, the embroidery thief was already in the treasure house, right? Zhang Changwei nodded. Yes, I dare to guarantee it with my life. Zhang Feng crossed his arms and analyzed. The embroidery thief is in the treasure house. The door lock is not broken and the walls are intact. So how did the embroidery thief get in? Prince Pingyan's eyes flashed. Only my father, myself, and manager Zhang have the keys to the palace. We all carry our keys with us. It's impossible for others to steal our keys without being discovered, right? Zhang Changwei responded. Yes, I have tied the key to the treasure house with a rope and hidden it in my arms. It is absolutely impossible to steal it. Zhang Feng touched his chin and looked at the two of them, is it possible that one of them is drunk or drugged? Prince Pingyan pondered for a while, I have never been drunk outside, and I am usually protected outside. If I was drugged, it would be impossible not to know about it. My father rarely leaves the palace, and it is even more impossible. Zhang Changwei quickly proved his innocence. As a steward of the palace, it is my basic quality to stay awake at all times, let alone get drunk. Everyone nodded. The butlers of the palace are not like people in the world. They can do whatever they want and are unlikely to get drunk. Zhang Feng did not dwell on this matter and continued. Okay, let's rule out the possibility that the key was stolen after being drunk or drugged for the time being. There are only two possibilities for the embroidery thief to be in the room early. The first is that the key that was just excluded was stolen, and the second is that the embroidery thief has been hiding in the room for a long time. How can it be? Zhang Chongwei looked unbelieving. This is more difficult than stealing a key. How could a living person like the embroidery thief sneak into the treasure house? Prince Pingyan also didn't believe it. This is a fantasy, how a living person got into the treasure house. Lu Zhaofeng heard Zhang Feng's remarks and thought deeply. Although what brother Zhang said is a bit mysterious, I agree with his point of view. If a person wants to enter the treasure house, without destroying the door locks and walls, there are only two possibilities, entering with a key or entering in advance at a certain time. Just now, I checked carefully and there are no traces of damage underground. Zhang Chongwei asked anxiously, how did the embroidery thief sneak in? After all, this is just speculation. Lu Zhaofeng agreed with Zhang Feng's logic, but could not imagine how the embroidery thieves could sneak in. Inside the treasure house, you can see as far as the eye can see. It is very difficult to hide a living person without being discovered. Brother Zhang, what did you find? Lu Zhaofeng looked at Zhang Feng. Zhang Feng's speculation is reasonable. The truth of the matter must be one of these two speculations, and there is no other possibility. Zhang Feng carefully looked at the items in the treasure house. Apart from a few wooden shelves, there were only a few huge mahogany boxes. Walking to the mahogany box, Zhang Feng looked at the prince, is it okay if these boxes are broken? Brother Zhang, you mean the embroidery thief came in through the box? Prince Pingyan looked at these boxes. The boxes were large and there was no problem in hiding someone. The problem is how to hide inside without being discovered. The boxes will be checked before being put into storage. When a person lies inside, he becomes invisible. It's just a guess. We won't know until later. Zhang Feng shook his head. Brother Zhang, just do whatever you want. Prince Pingyan looked indifferent. Lu Zhaofeng knocked on the box thoughtfully, as if he had guessed something. Zhang Feng pulled out his long sword and struck a few times. Six huge mahogany boxes were split into two halves. The cross section of the box appeared clearly in front of everyone. Under one of the boxes, there is a 30 centimeter thick hidden compartment, which is not too conspicuous given the huge size of the box. As expected, Zhang Feng said with a clear look on his face. Brother Zhang, 
You mean that the embroidery thief came in through this secret compartment? How is it possible in such a small place? Prince Pingyan couldn't believe it. Your Majesty, I don't know. Bone shrinking skills are not uncommon in the world. It's not difficult. I can hide in this secret room. Lu Zhaofeng came into the box, his bones crackling, and his whole body was like a pile of rotten meat, tightly hidden in the secret compartment, occupying the bottom of the secret compartment. Prince Pingyan's eyes were horrified. His martial Dao cultivation level is only comparable to the fifth grade level. Without reaching a certain level, it is impossible to imagine the power of the realm above. After a noise, Lu Zhaofeng got out of the box and exclaimed, Brother Zhang, I'm convinced. With just a few clues, you can unravel the cocoon and restore the original appearance of the matter. Quote, any case will definitely leave a trace. If all impossibilities are eliminated, what remains is the truth. Zhang Feng pretended to be cool without any hesitation. After eliminating all possibilities, what remains is the truth. This is a wise saying, Brother Zhang, I learned it. Lu Zhaofeng sighed. Even Examen Kuei and Yi Gucheng, who were paralyzed, had a look of surprise on their faces. Next, it's very simple. Just follow this line and you can follow the clues and find them by passers-by. Prince Pingyan looked ugly. Zhang Chongwei was managing all these little things. Could it be that he had fallen for a trick and wanted to catch the thief? Zhang Chongwei's face turned pale and he swore, Your Highness, I really don't know about this matter. I have been working hard in the palace for more than 50 years and have never dared to slack off. If this matter is my fault, I am willing to be struck by lightning from heaven. You will never be able to stand up again. He was in charge of the box. If something goes wrong with the box, the responsibility lies with him. If he hadn't known that he didn't do this, with so much evidence, he would have regarded himself as a killer. King Pingyan patted Zhang Chongwei's shoulder lightly and said, Manager Zhang, you are an old man in the palace, I still can't trust you, I don't mean to blame you. In the prince's house, the means of winning people's hearts are engraved in his bones. The two staged a show of deep master-servant love, which made people sick of it. Lu Zhaofeng couldn't stand it anymore and reminded, should we continue to investigate this case? Prince Pingyan coughed dryly, Brother Zhang, please continue. Manager Zhang knows who made the box. It's just hard to say whether the person who made the box is still there. Zhang Feng estimated that the man was probably gone. After doing such a big thing, the carpenter's chance of surviving is very low. It's old man Zhou, carpenter Zhou who builds homes in the south of the city. The box was built by him. Zhang Chongwei spoke hurriedly, praying in his heart that Mr. Zhou would not die. Go to the south of the city and bring carpenter Zhou here. The prince ordered the guards on the side. Hua Manlu was kind-hearted and said, Your Majesty, please don't hurt Carpenter Zhou. It seems that he is also a victim in this matter. It is impossible for a carpenter to plan the wealth of the palace. Building a box is just a matter of following orders. Do as young master Hua wants. Prince Pingyan told the guards again. Yes, after a cup of tea, the guard came in and replied, Your Majesty, Carpenter Zhou died of a severe illness one and a half months ago. My subordinates have opened the coffin and performed an autopsy, and it was confirmed that everything is correct. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.